Or was it? Wait, Memphis. Memphis, yeah. He just blew and He it. fumbled. That is like the downside of NIL. That's the downside chaos. of the streets, boy. That too, but when it's he you start giving these kids, you know, they start making money at 17, 18, 19. Ball is like you get. following you around everywhere. Yeah, Man, that's what you get. Kid, these kids yeah, shout out Seventh big. Woods. Shout out Seventh Woods. Seventh Woods. <laughs> special. He should have hey, been the one. He should have been the special. one. Hey, listen. Jonah definitely grew up in a great in a good era because mixtape era. Like I was I wouldn't say a full I guess I wasn't a dope. Was so mid prime was Chino great. Hills days. Grown. Yeah, I was I'd grown. come home from school and we'd be watching every Chino Hills game on YouTube. Yeah, it's like y'all had y'all had the time, like straight up. But, but uh, shout out to Aneka Kongu just being on that team casually. <laughs> casually, casually. Yeah. seriously, you really did casually. not know. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though. Um, Lonzo Ball mixtape got me on the train. You understand me? Like one the, play when he crosses the, the guy and he like falls. He's like slipping. And look at him, bro. It's a class. The oops, the, best part the, of that. the everything, the everything. The best part of that, that was he still helped up one dude. It was like, you got to show him your team play, all in them oh highlights. He God, still showed bro. it. Cooks him and yes. picks him back up. Man, Come on, that, I got you. I would Get say, I, I will, I'm going to still be hard on newer generation about certain things, but I definitely get it about being like overconfident about somebody about trying to hit the pros because... You've been watching them with these highlights or playing against people who have no business being on the court with them or a field. Then once they get to the pros, people like me be looking like, what were you looking at? Like, this dude is awful. But You're you're just a role player. Yeah. Like, they get you're old just... and they're only 5'10". And it's yeah. like, what do you do? <laughs> yeah. Don't be a good college player. Oh, man. Yes. But uh, there's, there's are we back many. again. We are back shout again to, for another up, shout week. Shout out to oh, all the ahead. athletic point guards who couldn't shoot. Oh my God! We got so many. Hey, them the ones. <laughs> Who was? It was one. Um, what's what's my man's name? He went to Kansas. Fuck, he from out west. Oh, what's his? Uh, name? I just he, was... he played in Kansas. They got they lost like in the second round to Northern Iowa. What's the fuck is his name? He's hey, short. Shout out to uh, he like Kiwi five ten. This like is gonna kill me. Ten. No, he was a short dude. Oh, my God. Look that shit, man. We back for another episode of Uncommon, Uncommon Commentator Podcast. We back. The fellas, we all here. Uh, we had a great week, great weekend. You know, we're going to this week, we're going to be doing the uh, Western Conference. This is this is like my favorite part. I begin every season. Basketball, football, be. baseball don't matter. This is my favorite part because at the middle of the season, your shit be cooked already, probably. It's got to come to I terms hate... that if someone pulls up some receipts on you, you can be like, yeah, okay. cooked. You just can't get mad about it because everyone's going to be wrong. Yes. That's how cooked. it goes. Yes, every time. But um, before we get to that, we're going to talk about what we did over the weekend, some recaps. I got a question for y'all that made me made me think about some shit, some sports I was watching. So I'm going to just jump into that real quick. We're all fans. That's why we love sports. We all fans. We all, we all got favorite teams. I think, Joni, you might got the only team in recent memory that actually a team you rooted for that you knew they would be in the playoffs every year. I'm talking about the Packers. Like, every – since you've been alive, they probably made the playoffs once, maybe twice. That's all I can think of. Like I think two or three times. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And it was like a strange-ass years. But – how many, and I think, you know, me and Zoe, we're, we're Bears fans, we're Bulls fans, we're Cubs fans. Band, bandwagon Hawks fans, let's do that hockey. Yeah, like, I casually watch <laughs> hockey, but I'm always going to, I, I love going to hockey games, but I seldom say, I want to say, do you guys think, what's the percentage of fans that actually, you would just, you care more if your teams, if you knew every year they're going to be competitive and make the playoffs, and sometimes you might just win a win a championship. Or do you give a damn, like, or you don't care if you get that one or two rings, but your team is awful all the time. Like, for me, I thought about this. Like, for me, I, I would love for my team just every year I know. We may not be able to win, but we're going to be fun. We're going to be competitive. I know what direction we're going. Like, we go, well, we don't know. And then sometimes we're fucking around and win a championship. This 
this whole thing of just always teams being bad and then you just pop up and be good, that don't that is just done with me as a grown ass man. Yeah. Sometimes I'm 37. it's good for your team to lose in the in the uh, conference championship every year. Sometimes it's a good thing. You get a yeah. good year. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want my I don't want every bro. Give me that over so, ass. So look, so I asked y'all, what's the percentage of fans? I'm gonna start asking these people this shit. Like, do you want do you care? Like, oh, we suck every year, then sometimes we might win. Or, you know, we're I know we're gonna make the playoffs or we're gonna compete for something every year. Like, I want my teams to compete. I'm looking at the Bears. Like, I knew we can maybe, we can might be like that team, like, from the, the Lions last year or the Eagles a couple years. Like, maybe we can compete for that last wild card. And when you look at it now, look I mean, at the, the games we could have won. We could have won Sunday. The teams aren't good. Yeah, you know I'm saying? Like, we're not even beating teams we're supposed to beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a chance to beat the Buccaneers. You could have beat the uh the Broncos, you could have beat the uh or we beat the commanders, you could have beat the all uh, we were awful on Sunday yesterday, and we were still down by less than a touchdown. Still could have won that damn game. I say all to say is like you just want to be have fun watching your teams. You know, the Cubs were fun because look, we fucked up at the end, but they were fun. The Bulls, I'm over that uh just Feel good shit. I don't know how y'all feel about y'all teams, but we're all in the same boat outside of Jonah rooting for the Packers. We're all in the same boat. It's like now Jonah's starting to be like, your teams are starting to, every year, you got something to look forward to. Yeah, as long as I got one, I'm happy. Yeah, so yeah we don't even have one, so. A little bit. We come from, I'm a Cubs fan, we're Bears fans, you know. Like, we like, don't know what the fuck that, like, every we couple get years. One and we fall off, and we got lucky with the Bulls, and we ain't seen anything since. Like, I, I tell watch people all the time. We're going to lose. Oh, yeah. I tell people all the time, the Bulls lucked up just, we so happened to get Jordan at three. We so ha- happened we got to lucky get a, with D-Rose at one. That's, I was, that's what I'm saying. We so happened to get that. We Big so time. happened to get the greatest basketball player of all time. Some people number two. Fuck it, I don't give a damn where you want to put him. We lucked up and got that. Pretty good at basketball, right? Pretty good. Then you get D Rose years later. But outside of that, look at that. So I I, I wonder: do fans do do fans like give a fuck? You know, there's some people who don't. One, they just want to watch a team win, and if you're not winning, you tuned out. You play the people who are like become a player stand. Yeah, you, you get to the people who are like, oh, we're in the middle. We don't want to watch us be in the middle. Okay, then we're bad. And we're, and like, it's just like everybody's going to take some shit. Think about, think about people, think about fans in Boston who was born in 96. <sighs> they don't know nothing but winning. <laughs> That's it. They don't know hey, shit sometimes, else. You know, it's a lottery That's ball. That's all they know. I imagine Patriot fans are losing their fucking mind right now. Oh, absolutely. Like new new ones. They don't know what the fuck is going on. Like they've just seen they've seen the Bruins, the Celtics, the Patriots, the Red Sox do all this shit. They even like LA fans. Like they don't what the fuck? Every year, I don't know what my teams are gonna be. So I I didn't want I didn't know how you guys felt about that shit because we're basically in the same boat. It's like, do you get to a point where you like, I just know my team's gonna be bad, I'm gonna root regardless? I love I think, the sport, like I'm a casual football, like, I know f- football is such a casual sport that I still know more than the casual fan, but I'm yes. still such a casual with it. Like, I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not going to get pent up about that. Like, I'll miss some games. If Like, this year I've missed some games, and I'm like, yeah. okay, cool. Mm-hmm. But, like, basketball, my team can be terrible, and I'm still locking in. As yeah, long yeah. as they have, like, young talent. If yeah, they're yeah, in, yeah. like, the end of, end of an era moving into a rebuild, I think that's the worst possible yeah, place yeah, yeah. to be in basketball. I think I, I think I rank the, them. Yeah, the talent I think, shifts so quickly in basketball. Like yeah. you have something to watch for, pretty much yeah. regardless. Yeah, basketballs basketball is definitely one of them things that are is different because, like you said, there's always something to look for in basketball. Baseball's and shit, on a different and shit scale, can change though. so fast. Like one player can change some shit so fast. Like you said, baseball. Like bro, let me tell you something. It's hard to to watch your team go through a rebuild, especially before the new rules. Because now, with the new rule, I think it's easier to watch it. Before, 
Pam, you think I'm finna sit through four hours a day of terribleness? No, I can't do that. But I just I watch like say... certain pictures start. Yeah, on certain yeah, days. yeah. I'm like, absolutely. This guy's good. I'm gonna watch this game. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I only watch when I'm in attendance. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I can't. I can't do it. No, I hear you on that. No, I thought I, I was gonna watch 162 games of Cubs for 100 108 years. Sprinkling nah. a few a few dubs, but like no, no, yeah, that's we, tough. yeah, 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 yeah. That's tough. Nothing about like my kids, like like Carter. He don't know nothing about. He know the Cubs of being good. Like, and in 2016, he's six. He don't know what. <laughs> You Lucky. know what I'm saying? It's like, what? This shit is Even easy. The what Packers the... won it in 2011. <laughs> I mean, I remember it. I remember watching the game, but was I understanding what was going on? Yeah, Not like, it's normal, to, it's normal to you. You, yeah. you don't know it's been so long since the last time they won. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like oh, cool, we made it. It wasn't that big of a deal. Like, my children don't know none of that 10 shit. years old. <laughs> one thing he do know, he know the Bears suck. That's one thing he do know. All right, I didn't want to stay too long on that. Uh... There's some other bad shit I saw this weekend, but uh, is there anything that y'all saw or y'all want to quick rant about that you want to get off your chest before we get into our... Hey, preseason, they're actually starting to play some real minutes, so it feels more uh, viable to watch games. I don't feel like a complete sicko. Last night with the Um, Lakers and the the Bucks was kind of like that. Like, Giannis was taking it to AD, which we're going to talk about that later. We'll go ahead. Uh, Lakers and Warriors game. That was another one that was intense. It felt like a high intense atmosphere for a, you know preseason game. Love to see them get to it. They and were got to see the young end. guys. Brown was suited up at the end. He was ready to go. Preseason basketball. Got to love y'all, it. Do y'all care about that? I don't give a shit. Go ahead. Like at Drummond halftime played, in preseason. Yo, Drummond played in the second half of game one, and he was dressed by the fourth quarter. I don't care. Like yeah. Go I'm on. more worried about what's going on on the floor. Everyone else can talk about everything else. I'm going to talk about something. plays. I'm going to talk about who scored. I'm going to talk about... That's it's beyond. a few people anyway Go on planet back. Earth that can get away with the hell he did. And he's one of them. If he want to get suited up at halftime, who going to say that? Who going to be mad? Who going to... I don't care. Yeah, I think it was like... But you know, the internet going to be the internet every time. So. True. So he internet went crazy too uh, after the Wemby game. Yes, yes, rightfully so. <laughs> rightfully already out there. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Curtains for the league, yo. We, nah, bro. When we talk <laughs> about guys that can catch any lob and have a crazy Curtains catch for the radius, league. not we think right of, now. I ain't talking about this season. Go ahead. My we think of like Gerald Green. We think of like Shaden Sharp. We think of those high flyers. And then we got this guy who's point up from the three point line for a lob. Yeah, man. <laughs> By far the most bold call from anybody over seven foot for a lob. Bold, but bro. He took off from like twelve feet out, just long. That um, fast <laughs> break like a donkey monster. had, yeah. That fast break donkey had looked like a giraffe out there. But it's the like when coordination you, uh, to finish that when you make that. a player in two K who's seven foot six and they start glitching out because you put like athletic dunks on them. That's what it's <laughs> like. Guys. He out here looking like a damn demi guy. You saw the clip of when he dunked on Thomas Bryant. Yo, Thomas Bryant, like what the fuck? But what are you supposed to play? He was halfway. He was halfway to the free throw line. <laughs> He played hey, that but, much ball in his career, and he was shell shocked. Let me tell you something. It's another thing. One thing I noticed, certain thing I understand is preseason. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But one thing I noticed that's going to be a problem, regardless if it's preseason, playoffs, regular season. The man can close from the paint to the three point line, straight to the corner, in no time. Like mm. that's you can't. That that it does not matter what. Level of basketball is being played. They're running high ball screens close for him, speed and he's seven foot four. Speed. Say what? They're running high ball screens for him, and he's seven foot four as the ball handler. Bro, just... if okay, he figured this is my it out... first. This is my first like real action. I, you know, we all caught some highlights and stuff. Saw yeah. the draft tape. Watching him, even against these reserve guys, this is NBA experience. He's going up against NBA players who are getting rotation minutes and got rotation minutes. Yes, that's impressive. That's that what jump I'm shot saying. was looking clean. That's probably going to stay. He can rely on that. He won't be physical, but no. defensive end, he'll always have a, a uh, 
What's the word I'm thinking of? Impact. Intensity? Impact, intensity. Oh, there you go. You'll know he he's out there. No, <laughs> no, no, he has no Presence. choice, God bro. The man is a at tree. Right now. He's a tree, bro. That's what he do. Some he make he have went, in, went up for a layup and he you ran away. You lost for words even talking about and trying to explain this. God, like, it's, yes, you can find ways to hate. You can try to say he can't do this. He He's a, he's, he de- listen, length is length, bro, in basketball. It's only going to refine more <laughs> skills, too. Like, if he starts getting a post fade, oh, they're going to double him. He'll just pass over to people because he can look over everyone. Like, bro, and he's in he'll one. unlock different things. He's in one, if not the best development organization out here. And it's not like a rocket situation. Like they actually have some vets around him, and they yes. have some young talent. It's not like they might yeah. not be the best team, but if you think you Tim Duncan and 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 David Robinson is not going to be working with this young man, you are sadly they already mistaken. Have been. You already already have Yo, been. You're sadly mistaken. Imagine imagine a Wemby Dirk fade. If you think no that one, shit ain't coming, <laughs> most Wrong unguardable time. shot. We thought KD dribble pull ups were unstoppable. Oof. But let me tell y'all, man. I told y'all, if they do this shit right, man, it's gonna be curtains for the league, man. I think curtains Tim Duncan's for the a special assistant within the organization. He is, isn't he? That's what he I is. thought. He's he over is. there. I don't know if he's front oh. office or. I mean, he's probably still on the court with him doing stuff, even if he is front office. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah, but and uh, Devin Vassell finally got some real look at him, buddy. Like we said, he can hoop. He's a real it was player. Shooting practice for him, out man. There. Yeah. He was getting him up. He was. <laughs> he was. Buddy. He was. Um. Uh, yeah, anything else from the weekend? Mm. Trying to think. Anything that? It's just fun to see some rookies. Already. I mean, it's crazy that some. Summer League's fun, but it's nice to see these guys on a real NBA floor. And some guys are already making strides. Like Amen Thompson on the Rockets, his jumper mechanics already look better. Oh, word. Um, I, ain't, I ain't peeped. I got sort of like... Uh, I mean, the Rockets, the Rockets look like a real basketball team, so shout out to them. I don't know how good they're going to be, but... We kind of figured it might be like, you can't help but go up. <clears throat> and then with the coach they have of, now. Yeah, a lot of talent, some structure. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of shit going on there. But. They got a clue out there. They're not playing iso ball. And exactly. Two passes it's, per possession. Yo, Fred ain't having that shit. <laughs> oh, he'll get no. his. No, Fred ain't having he'll that shit his. at all. Um, no, Fred said, "Y'all gonna find me spotted up." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, one last thing before we get into these standings, these predictions. Listen, I'm okay with people having uh, doors open for them. Is it because of a friend? Family member, I don't care about that because it happens all the time, especially in media. We hear with announcers, uh, Joe Buck and who else? Some other guys. Uh, but Jack Collinsworth from NBC. <laughs> That's listen, the dude who's always on AJ Dillon. <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Jack Collinsworth. I'm okay with him doing like all that pregame shit, but Jack Collinsworth. Should not be calling games, especially not Notre Dame versus USC. <laughs> Awful. Trash. I've never. Uh, does does Notre Dame not have the clout to to say, hell no. We don't want this <laughs> man call. What in the hell is going on here? I, that is shit has to stop. Everybody cannot call games, especially not that. I'm, I'm sure y'all probably didn't watch that game. Y'all not big college football game goers like that. Nah. But. I think the Wolves are playing that night. I need. I'm going to have to find some shit to send it to y'all. So I cannot believe what I was listening to. I didn't know that was his kid. <laughs> I've seen this dude before. That is no Chris Collinsworth's son. Yes. I remember seeing him on um, Sunday night stuff. Yeah. He does the pregame. Oh, wait. You talking about the son. Yes, not Chris. Oh, Chris, okay. good. I can rock with Chris Collins, bro. I saw a picture nah, of him. Chris, like, Chris I've seen no, that dude. No, no, no. Chris says some suspects things, but I can. He can call a game. He can. Oh, he says some suspects, <laughs> and I think he knows what he's doing, honestly. But he's not gonna get fired. But I'm, I'm good with him. But his son, never Probably again. Probably because it was an NBC tied game. Yes, there. I've never heard this crew. Who does NBC have for call? Like they have two separate things for football. 
That's all yes. I got. So. But the thing is, and, and guess who he is? Oh, my God. Then you have him in the booth, and then you have Jason Gary with him. Doing college the, football? The two driest people ever even heard talk. Shouldn't, no. He's like if you third have, fiddle in his little group on oh Sunday night. Oh, my God, bro. This shit is <laughs> awful. I don't want to harp on that shit. I'm going to find this shit for you. I'm going to send it to y'all. But uh, let's jump into these fucking standards. <laughs> We talked about this in the group chat. Uh, this is about this might have been the hardest standings I've ever had to do in any sport. Ever. I thought last year's West was, and then I got to this. And Let me like, tell you something. When I got down to like uh, number nine, I was like, "Oh fuck, I forgot this team." Nine. Everyone, no, at least everyone is. Five, there's gonna bro. be there's gonna be one person on everyone's list that, like, I think there's eleven teams that can make it. It was eleven teams. Yep. <laughs> And there's that one that everyone is going to have to leave off, I feel like. Yep. That's what I felt personally. A hundred percent. It was 11 teams. Somebody had to go. I have my four <laughs> unserious teams, and then I have my 11 serious Did I teams. leave somebody off? Hey, we'll see. No. We'll see. Uh-oh. I almost. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start this. We didn't talk about this, but I figured we are. We're going to go from 10 to 1, I'm assuming. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. <laughs> so... I'm going to have you start this shit off. I'll kick it off. All right, I'll yes. kick it off. Yes, you number start this 10. shit off. Number yes, 10. number 10. The last play-in, which, whatever at this point. I got the New Orleans Pelicans. Ooh! Man. Okay. So, I know last year I was talking healthy, you know, Zion, Ingram, McCollum. Y'all know I like Jonas Valanciunas, even though y'all don't, whatever. Nice little role. <laughs> I mean, he good, Look, but, but he, hold on, yeah, I don't mean to cut you off, but he's good, but I feel like for that team, <laughs> his, he's, it's over with now. It's rim, like, okay. For that team. I like I like him, but team. I feel like the way that team, look how they constructed. He can't do it's, shit nobody else does. <laughs> like, no, exactly. They got, they got nobody else on that team who's yeah. going to do that job. So, yes. good for them. Uh, you know, Troy Murphy or Troy, Trey Murphy's out. He'll be hmm. back in a few. Big difference what, in couple, players there. Yeah, for real, for real. A couple decades too. <laughs> Is it a, was it a meniscus with him? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Uh, they got Herb Jones. They got some solid role players, Nance Alvarado. But like, I'm iffy on them sometimes. Hit or miss. So I got them. You know, just sneaking in. I'm hoping they mm. still they stay healthy though. That's the big thing. Yeah. You know, every year that's the them. big. That is the biggest thing with that team for sure. Uh, that's all you got. That's the only reason they put in the team. That's all I got. Yeah. Uh, I, I go next. My number ten. I will say I, my. I, I, hold up. I will say I'm hoping Dyson Daniels takes a little jump. Nice player down there. Okay. He's fun. Yeah, I will say. I know. I feel like at least one of you is not gonna fuck with my number ten at all. But I'm gonna go with the OKC Thunder. I still have them at ten because. I love Shea a lot, but they will have to do a, another step this year for me to do. They would have to take a different step last year for this year for me to bump them up. I'm not going to knock them out. And I still was stuck between like 10 through 8 for them. I'm going to keep them at 10. I know Chet coming back. They got a fun team. Like, they're a fun team. Like, they're going to play hard regardless. And. Do I expect me to be wrong with them being 10 in the, the year? Yep. <laughs> but I just can't. We, hey, that's a disclaimer. We all expect to be wrong. Here. <laughs> yeah, I just can't with them. I just couldn't bump them, bump them up just just yet. Because for who I got in my nine, but go ahead. Go ahead, Jonah. I got the Pelicans too. Hey, let's go. <laughs> I land. I mean, I don't want to be like, oh, they haven't looked good in preseason, but. I think the CJ trade was weird because the touches are hard to get around. Zion, you need him to bring an extra level. You need him to be consistent. You need him to stay on the floor. Yep. I don't like their like lineup combinations that much. Like they have mm-hmm. a lot of talent, but I think it's weird as combinations. I don't really like the <laughs> roster construction. Yeah. And yeah, I just couldn't push them above the other teams. That's that's a lot of it. I couldn't push them above the teams ahead of them that I have. Oh yeah, I hear you. It was only I hear you on that. I, I I heard I hear you. Um, that that's a valid point. They do have weird ass 
weird ass lineups, and then it's yeah. like, I mean, they don't really have gonna... a. I can't think. Do they have a, a for real true point? So they're gonna do like nah, CJ point, point guard or yep. point Zion type shit. Exactly. Does that really? Does that work? I mean, Bi brings like a lot of playmaking too, but yet again, Brandon Ingram hasn't played over sixty five games, and I think maybe four is, years. Is it going to be like point guard by committee? It's just a weird team and not health. This is is really weird. It's like playmaking by group. Yeah, yep. yeah, facts. <laughs> um, move well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. Runs a lot of point. He does, and we get to see a lot of point four because <clears throat> motherfucker don't play, but he's dunking. He dunks. At, at pre at warm ups, but um, hey, it was nice to see him coming like in shape at least, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no 100%. Fat jokes, no gumbo, Listen, like nothing. Guys, pro athletes, just get you a trainer, somebody. Why y'all, why y'all, y'all get all get this money a... for a reason to help with this is your job, yeah. yo. Meal prep, meal plan, get someone in, just what's that? One of your fuck? friends to culinary like, school, <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, something, <laughs> Jesus Christ, like, um, but look. I'm going to go right into this. I'm going to start off at number nine, and my number nine is the Pelicans. That's my number nine. So I think last year, range. I think last year was 10-9, right, for them? It was 10-9. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was a nine. So for me, I kind of kept the same way there. But um, for all the same reasons, like I couldn't push OKC above them, but flip-flop, Pelicans, OKC for me, they could be 9-10 regardless. How you, how you want to put it? Um, who are y'all now? Who want to go next? Go ahead, Jonah. <laughs> I have the Golden State Warriors. Holy oh, shit! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. It's like a tumble. Okay. At number nine. I don't like the Chris Paul edition. Um, mm -hmm. Their size terrifies me. Uh, I know you have... Very good players. You have Curry on your team, obviously. Oh, this is... But... I love this. I just don't like their optics compared to teams above them at all. It's... I want... I had them... I wanted to put them lower Um, in this kind of 7 through 10 range. That's where I really feel like they're at right now. Mm -hmm. But when I looked at some other teams, I just landed here. I think they're additions around the core aren't very special and Steve Kerr is always on his bullshit with some rotational stuff. <laughs> you know um, what? I didn't think about that rotational stuff. He does be on that bullshit, but man, Whoa. I know it's tough. Nine is crazy, but That's, hey, yeah, it's, it's from like the one time. You. It's like the one year I've you. actually been like, I ain't mad. At it's kind of like a thing with it's tough when you have those generational players and you don't want to doubt them because they can prove you wrong so easily. So you just give them that false hope. I just don't think this is a good year for them. I mean, Yo. I hear you. Honestly, I, I hear it. We'll see. I could, I could, we could be throwing this clip up on Twitter in two months for all I know. <laughs> Yo, I, look, looking at my <laughs> list, I know who I left off now. <laughs> Shit. I don't, bro. I don't even What's know how. Go ahead, Zo. <laughs> I had OKC wow. at nine. I oh, had so OKC we gave you flip flop. Yeah, we flip flopped on that one. Everything you said, I'm doubling down on it. Uh, they got a lot of talent over there. Obviously, Shay, uh, Lou Dort, Josh Giddy. They got the Jalen's. Add Chet. You know, I like uh, Misic, the European dude. I like him. Got really some hoping he fell. Yeah, was really hoping he fell to somebody like the <clears throat> Bulls, but it happens. Um, and yeah, I think they'll take a step. That young team just keeps playing together, and Chet will have some impact, and they'll be better. But it's just a tight West race. Yeah, it is. That's the that's the only thing. Like, imagine if the Pelicans actually played in the East. Oh my God, because where they located. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> if what the Pelicans had consistent health, we'd all have them up like two, three spots too. I, mm -hmm. I guarantee. You. Absolutely. Like, I think last year, it's hard to predict that stuff. It's. Impossible. I think last year I had them. Yeah. I, I think I had them finishing third last year on some crazy shit. I think I had them like fifth or sixth. I believe. I was nuts last year. You never but, know. They could no. be up there for all we know. Like, yeah. Who knows, man? This is uh, you really, you really don't. It's we tough. out here. 
No, we are. Like this. Uh, <laughs> Jonah, go ahead. Kick us off with uh, eight. And eight Number last eight. year was the Timberwolves. Uh, Wolves, yes. I landed with the Thunder here. I think they take a little bit of a step up, but I'm not in the group of. I've seen people saying they're going to be in that top six spot. I can't see it. I don't think this Bro, is the year yeah, for that's it. What I, was saying I think too. they're that's a year away. Jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, think they're a year away. They need to cool. figure out their rotation because they yeah. have so many players right now that were either in the rotation last year or guys that they brought in who have been rotational players elsewhere or spent yeah. high draft picks on. Yep. So you got to figure all that out. Having Chet and having like a real, I don't know if Chet's going to be a real center or they're going to play him next to another big in the future, but it'll yeah. be interesting to see how, if he can fix all those issues. He's looked really good so far, but still, I think you're a year away. And I think their shooting concerns kind of, they couldn't shoot the ball at all last year. I think that really sticks out. Like, you kind of have to start nitpicking once we get yeah, in this area. They can't. Mm-mm. You really do. It's so damn, man. You have to nip it. You have to. It could to. be like, yo, I like these three bench players, and they they only got two bench players. I like that's how yeah. close no, these. Absolutely, these you gotta find are, something bro. because no, it's gonna absolutely. be so damn tight too with these games too. Because like these could be one two game swings with teams just yeah, and for that's seeding. How that, and just, like you said, Which, like from yeah. ten to ten to seven, what was it like last year? Was it like a half game, one game? It was a couple games, yeah. Even, Yo, like, a leather that, spot had a chance at the end. Like, it was nuts going over there. The Wolves were only the eighth seed because they beat the Pelicans in that last – that or like, last game of the year, I believe, they played them in the regular season. Like, oh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. chaos. Yo, Yo, man, it was that, chaos. That Thursday game in November matters now. Like, everything. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. Everything matters. Head to head. And, and I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. Um, where we at? Oh, we still on A, so go. I'm going to go ahead and go next. Oh, so you can go ahead. You you go. go ahead. I got go it. Ahead. You got it. Yeah. I'm going to go with the Game Clippers. The Clips. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to go with the Clippers because I just don't know who the fuck is going to play. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, this is a, this is a viable point. I, yeah. I don't. But I do know that. <laughs> They are good enough. They can still be in a play-in. But I don't know what the hell is going on. He can't. He ain't focusing on my boy. But I don't know <laughs> nah. what's going on with the Clippers. You got Paul George coming out. He about to. I don't know. He might be on motherfucker's ass. And then with the Colt, I should have found him. Put a bully on his bully bully ball. Bully again? shit. Yeah, his bully. Yeah. yeah you whatever. know, he can he can fuck around, hurt something. Kawhi never know. You got Russ. That's a wild card. Hey, there you go. I'm focused again. Then if they yeah, he, yeah. this dude James Harden is still trying to get to LA. So you do that. What are you giving up to match the contract? I'll hand you one Marcus Morris in a second, right? <laughs> Lightly used, like lightly. So and then, and even if they make that trade, it's how much is that going to? Like, I tried to think that a little bit with my Clippers prediction, too. I'm like, how much would it move the needle if James Harden was to move to the Clippers? And it's still hard to even predict with that. Yeah, it was still it was still hard for me to, for me to predict that, and that's why I stayed at that eight. I feel like, okay, I do feel like our, that roster is already better than the Clippers. I mean, better than the Pelicans and, and, and the Thunder. But then, think about the other team. I was like, I just don't know what, what the hell is going on over there. I I just don't. The role players. It sounds, it sounds like rotations. lazy, but it's a very viable reason. Yeah, like, it's... I just couldn't come. <laughs> it was just, everything is just right there. Like, you call it easy, but it's right. Nobody plays. They could like, be, bro. You could put them at two, and I'd be like, okay. You yeah. Right like, at eight, I'd be like, okay. Like, any spots, it's like, every pile, like, yo, I could put them at two. I could put them at four. I could fuck around put them at one. I could put them at ten. But here is the reasons. So, me me hearing Paul George talk about his bully shit, that's not gonna bop, that's not gonna move me. He's always talking. <laughs> bumping him up a slot for you. Mama. He's like he's like Chris Paul of the small forwards. He's gonna hurt something soft on him. It's gonna be a hamstring. It's gonna be a groin. Something, a an ankle, something. We see it all the time. So again, I had to knock him down, like. We, I get him out there four to six, knock him down some more because I feel like they're gonna lose some games early. So that's me. So 
Go ahead, Zo. Who you got? We on seven seed now? Oh, Zo did give his eight seed. Eight seed. Yeah, he's always. Uh, I got, I got the Warriors right here at eight. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Yo, they're getting old, just like they Jonas are. said. They they are getting small. old. Like Kevon Looney and Draymond are your bigs. Like that's tough. No, what about Dario Saric, man. Huh? What about Dario Saric? Yeah, he over there. Uh, he'll be out on the perimeter, bro. I'm he not exists. worried about him. In the yeah, he'll he's not gonna be helping on the <laughs> in the paint like that. Uh, deflections, maybe. No disrespect. Devontae Green, to small ball five. Hey, maybe. Shout out to him getting the job. Appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, the Chris Paul with Steph off the ball, Clay moving around. We'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. It looks good in the preseason. I don't know how long it'll hold up for. Chris Paul's bound, just like you said, he'll get yeah, hurt. Yeah, that's 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 the weird um, thing for me. The good thing about that is Steph off the ball is one of the most dangerous still in the league. Obviously, he doesn't stop moving, conditioning, and a one. Mm-hmm. So that's a threat. Uh. Clay is always a threat. You just hope he stays healthy. Draymond will be there. But you got to hope that, like, Kaminga steps up, Moody steps up. These guys finally got to actually play a role. Maybe they Kuminga won't get has had some good preseason numbers. We go, yeah. Because how long are we waiting for, like, the Warriors young players? The Warriors young players. I think they're just – I think people, when they say that, they expect them to be, like, solid starters. If they're just role players at this point, I think that's – I mean, obviously it would suck with that because Kumingo is, like, a top 10 pick. But mm. Was he top 10? He was, like, 7th yeah, or 8th. 6th. Damn. Six, somewhere yeah, something like there. that. That draft seemed like, went, like a blur for right me. There. 10? Moody was mid, mid-teens, I believe. But, like, you just got to temper some expectations there and – yeah, that can be a lot to ask from Warrior Fan Nation, as we but, know. But, I don't oh, think yeah. I, I don't think I think people across sports in general, uh, you see it a lot when it comes to um, especially young players in the NBA and then quarterbacks in the NFL. Like it was, I don't never like to be the and back in my day. I don't want to really want to say back <laughs> in my day, but it was like we gave people a time to develop. It's like. Yeah, Kuminga is still you can't expect 21 years old. old. Yeah, you can't expect an 18, 19 year old, every you single can't... one that come into the league to be just straight out the door. Just no, it don't work. Especially that way. 21 like that. years old, 10 days ago. Yeah, yeah like especially come on, bro. with the the expectations of the Warriors, like you're bound, like you're in the championship window. You can't expect that from him. Yeah, like come on, he needs these kids need time. There's Easy. only a few 18 year olds on their first game ever, and from going forward snapped off it might be one or two literally it's just the nature of the sport it makes yeah it so, so difficult. it's like people just need to learn how to we mess up like we give players you know expectations probably where they shouldn't be getting them and then you get super ca- every sport got super 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 casual to the point where they're not going looking deep into some shit they're gonna be like they said this person's gonna be here and he got drafted here so it just sucks for them dudes over in the Warriors. And the thing with Kuminga, too, is as a prospect, he wasn't seen as, like, he had a really high ceiling. People had some high expectations for him, but he still had a lot of stuff to work out. Like, I think you can point more to Moody, because Moody looked more like the instant translatable guy, and he took some time, so you can, like, mm-hmm. knock that. But he was a 14th pick, so it's nothing yeah. too crazy. No. Where Kuminga was seen more as the guy that needs some time. And, I mean, this is going to be your number... Three, I believe, three. for him. Yeah, three. So, I mean, is that's... It? Yeah, if he's going to be 21. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of a big... I think of that as another cross-sport combination, but, like, year three for quarterbacks, you always look at how that if they start tripping up that year, especially with contract stuff or your contracts. Yeah. Yep. Your guy starts tripping up that third year, you can kind of figure out who they're going to be more as a player. Mm-hmm. Got to make that jump or you don't. <sighs> and we'll see. I hope for it because I'm high on him. The motor was high. Athleticism was crazy. They need I it. I hope he puts together the rest of his game. But that's another thing. His game style just didn't really fit what they were doing over there. So, no. like you said, Jonah, you can kind of give him a pass and point to Moody because he was a shooter and it should translate mm-hmm. damn near right away. Absolutely. Um, are we going to keep talking about the Warriors and move to seventh? And seventh was the Lakers last year. I got the Warriors at seven, even though I'm <laughs> – I've been hyping up, but I was not expecting either one of y'all to have them 
like uh, below seventh, but yeah, I feel you. Kind of you were low and, on them. Old and small, I thought I was bro. low on them. Fuck. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, last year I was real high on like this is our last run of this core of Warriors. I still think like not saying they're not gonna make the playoffs. I mean seventh. I mean they're the play in, but I don't. I can't see them. I wanted to put them fourth because I'm looking at Curry. Then I'm looking like. Curry is still looking like Curry and Draymond and Clay aren't looking like Draymond and Clay. And that's that's the huge thing. That's that core. Like Curry gonna be Curry because he's just all worlds. You know what I'm saying? Generational as people want to say. I hate that. I'm I'm really starting to hate generational player. Um, but uh, <laughs> also I hate that hey, at least you're saying it to a player that is generational here. Yeah, yeah like, but it, I hate that shit too much. Way too much now. Um, cause if he, everybody can't be generational, like, God damn, like, but I don't want to go too far for that, but yeah, I got the words that's seven for everything we just said. Like, I think don't you nine with the words though. You eight with the word. I'm we're like, we all yeah. right there. So that could be a one game difference. Like, it, that could, all absolutely. They can definitely fall to nine. Like in one, you know what I'm saying? But every, Hold every, up. every dynasty starts going down at some point and they got to build back up but it happens yo speaking of the dynasty can we sidebar for clay's con- contract extension talk if they give him four with 30 plus mil a year they're crazy i don't care <laughs> bro i don't care <laughs> hey, okay. does it get it's to a point tops. listen listen now we don't we don't own we're not uh Team owners, but shit, we try to be one when we play our up video here. games. Okay, up here, bro. We try to, we try to, you know, yeah, I know his do regressions it. hitting once he hits a certain age and two. Listen, K, so I'm not signing him to that deal. Le- nope, I'm not signing him <laughs> to video game, bro. Two K's dropping his three point rating by twenty for no reason. Oh, he's definitely declining out of nowhere. Falling but off a clip. That's a crazy contract to get somebody. You got to get to a point where y'all got to be. I understand what he's done for the team. I get it, mm-hmm. but you got to be smart because guess what? I still got to own this team or be the gym of the team when your ass retire. I still got to. And if you I, if you're not putting up thirty mil per game stats, I don't. We got to start care. being. I'm we got to stop being like. Well, he did this for a team. We got to stop. Uh, when we be honest, especially contracts and free agency is what for it. Everything in the past. That's why a lot of times shit go on going forward. That shit be good for one year. If they sign Clay, Clay to that contract, I feel like one, maybe two years tops, he's going to be. Two years. Two years. I feel like that third, fourth year, he's going to be a shell. Look at him now. Dog coming off the bench. He's going to come Look off the at bench Clay. year three. Look at Clay's past playoffs, bro. Clay was not Clay. The consistency isn't there anymore. Yes. And exactly. I hate to say it. He's not there, he's bro. one of my favorite two ways for Yes. Years. But he is not consistent whatsoever. No, no. Yeah. Mm-mm. It's All really right, tricky. Boy. Yeah. But I have go no head on seven, no. Warriors yeah. because we've been talking about them forever. That's my seventh. Uh once again, the Lakers was a seventh last year. Which I forgot they were, but yeah, it makes sense. Go ahead, whoever wants to go now. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I got repeating. I have the LA Lakers again. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Another tricky one because we watched the first half of this team and we watched the second half of this team last year. Yeah, and it it boggles my mind. It, it throws it's there's a lot of teams in here. I feel like I could put like I feel like I could put them in any spot here, just like the Clippers, the damn yeah. LA teams. I don't know no, what they they're are. on. No, no, um, I'm with you on the Lakers. I mean, I'm not saying I got them. Of course, I got them seventh, but I definitely understand. Where you put them, like another team, you can put them anywhere because you got health, you got new players, you just don't know. The, the supporting cast, I'm really looking into. Yeah. Um, I think it comes down to some leaps. It's, I think this year is going to prove a lot of what Austin Reeves is a player, if he has a higher yeah. ceiling than what he's at right now, or yeah. if he's just, I mean, if he levels out at this, I think. That's not a bad thing. He was an undrafted no. player. He yeah. got a bag. He's already he'll be outperforming his contract this year if he does the same thing as last 1, year. One thousand percent, bro. One thousand um, percent. I just 
I find it difficult to find some points where they can. I think I look to AD specifically. I feel like he's the only guy that has to take that leap as a player. Anything else has to be continuity based or, um, or if they beat my expectations, it's like they figured out some more stuff with coaching. Uh, Darwin figured out how to set some stuff up better for the team, better rotations, things like that. I think you can take the leap, but I find it hard finding like internal developments with this team. I do like the the uh, Gabe Vincent signing. Was I really like that? Um, who knows? Cool it's a Miami so. player. He could become terrible for no reason because that's how <laughs> Miami role players work. Damn. Yeah, they do. They can. Um, it's difficult with those guys. Uh, it's always something thrown out there. But yeah, I'm just having a tough time with uh, development. And I stare at AD again, and that just opens up another can of worms because we talked about that like 10 times last year with him. So it's no, tough. I'm with you on that. I'm, I'm with you on that. I hear you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to get my spiel on the Lakers yet because I don't have them at seven. So, yeah. And I disagree. I'm heated. Yo, he just slow down. Damn. So, uh, who you got at? Man, yo, yo, hockey sweater is nice, bro. That is, that shit is, that shit. Hey, it's big been fan, on ice fan. for a long time. Oh, I love, I have a, <laughs> um, back on the bandwagon. I got a tase and a, and a cane. I got to give me a, a so Connor one now. Been on ice. But I, that's funny. Was it, was that pun intended there? You ain't that clever, are you? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking shit. I'm talking shit. But no, that shit night. I like that. Uh, uh, hockey appreciate sweaters it, are one of my it. favorites to wear. One of my favorite hey, this sports. Is my, this is They're comfortable. Cozy. They're warm. Cozy as Real fuck. cozy. Yes, sir. Because people don't really realize how cold it really <laughs> is when it's a hockey game. Bedazzled. Dog, I was, I've been to one. It was up there 300. Cold. Levels, but that's it's cold in there. Went. It's cold in there. Um, it's cold. All but, the way up. I, at seven, I got the Clippers. Uh, just like y'all said, they exist. You know, they, they exist. exist. They'll be there. We'll see. They gotta play. I'm not really excited about the you know the roster. It's just the same dudes we've been seeing. Clay, or Clay, Kawhi, PG, Russ, Batum, Zubat. It's the same dudes. Norman and Powell. Thing, like, I the same that, dudes. And another thing to pick up, pick it back off that. I feel like I don't know if Lou has control there. Not saying he lost control of the players, but he has so many orders from doctors and shit about play this player this minute and this. So he can't really game by game. His rotations are different. He can't even the most difficult easy job. Seriously, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like he mixed can't, bag where he gets to deal with everything. He, he can't even. He don't know. Every day he go to the office. He don't know how many minutes he can play this player. He don't know. You know what I'm saying? So that's why. You gotta keep him there, and I feel like you gotta let a player, a, a coach like Lou, do his thing. Let him coach. Yeah, let him coach. He's won you. He's not won you a chip, but he's won a chip. Let him coach. One of the greats. Go let ahead and just take the advice. Let him, shit. please. Like let him loose, and I think that's what's really holding him back. They're not letting him loose. Yeah. Like he got, you got GMs and doctors giving you goddamn like like baseball shit, giving him a lineup. Like, let we'll him... see what what changes with the rest, uh, you know, the rules this year. But besides Nothing. that, I want to see a couple of these young guys. Bones Highland was hooping for them. Hope he yeah. can, you know, continue to grow. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Brandon Boston Jr. I'm hoping this guy finally gets some ticks some point. I just want to see him. Who was a fan of him coming out of high school, and it's been up and down for him ever since. So yeah, and then that's another thing. If you add a player like Harden, then. Then that's another young guy that's not gonna get no like you just wasting you just wasting uh roster spots and draft picks and draft capital on players that's just gonna sit there that's never gonna develop and then when it's time to be crafty too because they haven't had those firsts yeah so it's like now you're gonna have somebody like that like you're not gonna let them go get hardened them dudes are not gonna be able to develop do you got uh who you guys who's it got bones you got bones no more. They're gonna lose playing time going against my like Harden. You know what I'm saying? So seven and eight, that's where it's good for me for the damn Clippers. You know, but if they go up higher, which they could, I'm cool with that. So, hey, so we got yeah. jump right into six. I got the Clippers. That's fine. Yep. So and who was who was six <laughs> last, last year, year? Last year were the Warriors at six. Perfect. Um, I th- I look a lot to their power forward spot because Tyloo had no clue what to do with that last year. He didn't want to play Roko. 
Nick Batum took a big step back, especially in those key games he and did. just down the stretch. Because he got paid. A, <laughs> yeah, and he, do you, what a is weird it, is contract. It, isn't it weird to just is it is it weird to count on Batum for those like those spots? I don't know. I feel At like he's not point, that guy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's just weird. another one of those. Yeah, dudes, like it's, it's a bunch of old money over there. Yeah, like. I feel like I they've been going. I feel like the Clippers uh, been going through the same thing since when he when they got uh, Paul Pierce. It's like they keep getting like these old ass. They could never find a three for the longest time. Oh my god, Matt Bro, Barnes, they Paul had Pierce. Wesley Johnson. They had ten thousand threes and none of them fit right. Fun fact: they had Joe Ingles <laughs> in camp one year and released him. <laughs> Is that how he <laughs> went to the Jazz? That's some Clippers shit right there. He was with the Clippers camp prior to going to Utah, and he got the clip. Would have been nice. Would have been nice. Been, fit. That definitely would have. You, Better than the other options. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. I think I still hold a little bit of a sweet spot for them after that Phoenix series because they were looking so damn good. And Could have Russ won. was looking energetic. He wasn't looking his old self, but he was looking a good balance between what we had seen in L.A., the other L.A. Um, Which was, and, that was so weird. but And like his Houston years, I, I thought it was enough for what the Clippers need at point guard. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll take whatever that was over what Reggie Jackson was bringing to the table. It's a Reggie low bar, Jackson but... like felt he fell off like as a role player. Seemed like Pistons he? Reggie I'm, was kind of fun, even even though he got a little bag and wasn't the best. No, OKC Reggie was <laughs> OKC. Nice. I'm about to say OKC, OKC Reggie, Reggie had late the OKC bag. Reggie. OKC had had that he had the man bag. role and he took off from there. He yep. was hooping. He Shout was hooping. out Bobby Smarter, bro. Bobby Smurder, he was too. definitely he was definitely hooping. He was definitely um I'm go, I'm okay with this. I don't know. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go next. Oh, you had any more points about your six? No more. I'm gonna go with my sixth spot is the Grizzlies. Interesting. Um, <laughs> the twenty five games is a lot. It may not seem like it. That's just a lot. And More they, in the quarter of the season. Yes. Uh I know they got additions. Uh Marcus Smart. Uh I know Rose is there. Rose is still who? He's gonna be that right there almost made me jump jump him up because Rose was there. And he can't help. He's finally, he's just playing. Just yeah, like the he man just play. playing. Go ahead. But I don't still don't know about the rest of the team. I don't know about Triple uh Triple J if he gonna is he gonna get hurt? He's going to be in foul trouble. Like, what is he going to do? But I still think they're a good enough squad that... There's a lot of outcomes with him. Yeah, so, but I still... Ja <laughs> is just... Regardless of all the other shit about Ja that we all know about, that we don't have to talk about, you know, which that shit seems so long ago, don't it? It has that been shit... nice that he's kept himself out of this Yo, for that a little shit while. Seemed, quiet that fiasco seems so long ago thing. now. But Ja still Ja. And missing that dude for 25 games. And let's not forget, he's still reckless. He can still miss games by getting hurt when he comes back. So because he's still playing injured against the Lakers and still launching himself on his yes. wrist. So he still have to get in game shape. We all know game shape and just being in shape. He's gonna be in shape, but he's not gonna be in game shape. So then how long is it gonna take him to get in game shape after missing 25 games? You know what I'm saying? And uh is it how he can't be the facility or nothing like that, right? What he can't do anything team related. I don't know how this shit go. Twenty five games a long ass time. I think like once the season <laughs> starts, he can't okay. be there. That's a long ass time, but I think that's what it is. But he still got how to get in game shape. So after what, twenty five games, what you at? Um, December, right? Yeah, month in and December, a half, two month months, and a, something like that. So you're gonna get in game shape. Well, so now we at uh, All Star break. So. How, where are you going to be at? So I think six is a good spot. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to be adding back a top 10 player, maybe top 15. Is that a good spot for Ja, top 15? I think ESPN impact, said 32. Like, I think you can say crazy. whatever you want for team rankings, but if you had to rank players' importance to a team, I think I'd easily put him top 10 or top 15. For, oh, absolutely. If you take this top guy 10. off their team, oh, if you're yeah, about he might even be top 10. Yeah. yeah, if it's importance, just strictly importance, top 10 all day long. So... I landed at six with them. They're still a weird ass team. I don't think they added shooting. They got Luke Kennard. I don't think they added shooting. Which he, <laughs> yep. he, he, he even shoot. as a Duke dude, he shoots yeah. the ball. 
every that's once it. in a while efficient. That was that's like it. their biggest problem. Yeah. Shooting. We'll give you forty four percent shooting and forty four percent shooting. Yeah, eight yes. points per game. That's it. Forty four percent shooting. So and... you can't even have him in a clutch <laughs> moment because he's not doing shit else. So he will um, not be in your closing lineups. No, 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 absolutely not. So I think six was good. Um, that's a few spots down, but of course, if Jaws are all year, uh, you think it easily be up higher. But I think for me. Six was good for me to land him there. Six. Who do you guys have at six, Joe? I'm like Zoe. Go ahead, go. Just go ahead. Uh, I got. Uh, I got the Mavs at six. <laughs> Yo, oh, I'm. You're high as fuck on them. I'm high as fuck on the Mavs. Honestly, call it bias, but you give Luca and Kyrie the ball. I know it looked kind of iffy last year, but. You have to assume that these two top five, ten, whatever players you want to say have worked it out enough to start being competitive and put it together. Then you add Grant Williams, finally play some defense. I'm high on Derek Lively, even if he's just down there protecting the rim. That's something they didn't have last year. You still got yeah. Tim Hardaway Jr. You get Seth Curry. He shoots the ball always. Uh, I'm high what on... else does he does? What else does Seth Curry do for you? It's just shooting, bro. Shooting and he's a smart player. He'll be efficient and he won't turn the ball over. Hey, whatever. Um, spoiler alert, because I'm just gonna talk about them now. Every person you said outside of probably Grant Williams, everybody get hurt. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Hey, and you did your I ten, even, I did my ten. I don't know. Oh, fact. Oh, 100%. Hey, give me something. Give me a little wrench thrown in there. Then all of us having the same stuff, man. Give me um, that. Hey, hey. If that's it, there it is. I'm. Uh, I feel like there's too much offensive firepower on that team. Defensively, they might be a little shaky, but you hope that as a team collectively they can pull it together. And then you still got this is one of my man's like top players in the league. He loves Maxi Kleber. He is fun. I love Max Kleber. I love Maxi. Oh my god, I, he's a solid role guy. He got my, the clip. My man loves him. He's he got, got some the good clip. perimeter defense for a 6'10". No, he does. Forward. No, no, no. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. But uh, And then you got Josh Green, you know, Hardy. You hope these guys yeah. can take another role. You There's do. Be some solid guys around. So, you do. A lot, of, a lot of people over there. And then, uh, what is his name? Olivier. Buddy just oh, Max plays. Prosper. Let's, yeah, let's get him out there. Just another body. I okay. like him. We'll not, we don't see how, or, ugh. we'll see how much time he gets, but. Just another player to watch. It's a tweener in a good way. Yep. I, I'm going to. So, I'm gonna talk about the the uh, Mavs with you because I I don't have them making the playoffs. I had them Dang. at 11. It was between them and Me the too. Clippers of missing, and I felt better about the Clippers roster more than the than the um, Mavs because them dudes. Kyrie is one soft injury away. He's one <laughs> he's one social social justice thing that happened away from missing 40 games. He's a ticking time bomb. Um Luca, hey. we know Luca can get hurt. This man, you had the audacity to bring up Tim Hardaway, Hardaway Jr. This man oh, don't play hey. games. How many games has he played? He missed games. Uh <laughs> um, hey. Everybody on the Clippers misses games. Everybody everywhere misses games. They do. I just We're feel talking like I, these guys. Are I think I think I just feel better about the Clippers than I do about the damn Mavs. You guys because, want to hear a wrench for real? Yeah. I didn't have the Grizzlies making the playoffs. Yep. Yep. I said it. So this man, I am not. I am not high on Memphis, bro. And this it might just be pure hate. It might be, but oh, it's my it definitely is. So I know, I know you, though. So. It's definitely it's my turn. Hit. It's my turn. Oh yeah, it's your so, team. Fuck it. What are we on? We yeah, on six. You're gonna, good about, you're gonna feel good about where you put your teams if it's from the heart. If you're yeah, yeah, absolutely. From, it's like when oh, you go yeah. March Madness bracket and you're like, you feel so Damn, good. I really want this team to win. Why did I pick against them? I want yeah. them to win. Um, hey, I'm, I, just have I to... don't want to see Memphis shine. <laughs> oh, I hear. Look, I'm happy. I'm happy for Derrick Rose. I'm hoping he keeps hooping. But you replace Ja. For 25 games with D Rose and Marcus Smart in the West, that's not going to get it done. You lose Dylan Brooks. Antics aside, but he was hooping over there, playing hard defense. You, lo- nobody's replacing that. 
JJJ got exposed. Like, he's soft. People are going to expose that now. It's just a different game plan. I'm not too high on uh, Bane being, like, a primary ball handler. And I know that last year, even without Ja, they found a way to win. But I just don't see it this year. It's a different team. No, I hear you on that. I definitely hear you on that. It was just... Grizzlies, Mavs. Someone got to get left off. Yeah, Grizzlies, somebody, hey, somebody Mavs, had to. and the Clippers was definitely those three teams for me. someone's fan base, it was man, like, regardless. It was like, man, where am I fucking put all three of these teams? One of them teams got to be left off because I feel like those three teams might have the most question marks. Was certain, then you can probably throw the Lakers being fourth for me, but Jonah, you had... Whoa, whoa, spoiler. Shit. <laughs> what? Talk about where you got the Lakers already. Now no, no, know. no, no. What I'm saying is we're not. Um, no, no, no. What I'm saying. They're definitely a... one of the teams that we haven't said yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what, what I'm are. saying. Correct, like, correct. But we already talked about like their injury Fucking... stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay. all, yeah, they're, yeah. They're like in that tier with the Grizzlies and the Clippers and the Mad. I feel like. All, I had those the Mavs four... at 11 as well. Like, yeah. They're my I 11. feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of developments they have to rely on. Yeah. And I wasn't really big on the Luka. Kyrie stuff. Last yeah, year. I wasn't big on a Luca thing and Kyrie last year. Even though, like, I'm a big Luca guy, so that hurt me to even put them at 11 because I want to see him in the playoff. But no, nah. I just think a lot of things have to like, like all those players. I like those players you talked about. Like, I like Omax Prosper. I like Josh Green. Who else? I like Jaden Hardy. But all those guys need. To, if you need that many guys to take a leap just in your role, and you group, do. And yeah. Lively is the big one. <laughs> yeah, I have they liked do. that they've played Lively a lot in the preseason to get like an idea with him. But I still think, I don't think it like, if he makes a back half good development, like I can see it. But I, <laughs> I just don't think we get a full season of yeah. quality Lively starter. The five, from start, yeah, to, from start to finish. And uh, Luca loves his lobs to Powell. No, love Luka loves his lobs. Hey, he's just a bigger Powell. He needs the screens. Um, so we jump so into this. Uh, where are we at? I got Grizzlies. Top uh, five. Jonah, who top you five, have? Top five, top five. For number five? No, no. For six, you had who? Quick recap. Who had six? I had the Clippers. Okay. And so who you have? Dallas Mavericks. That's right. And I had the, and I had the Grizzlies. So we're at top five now. Top five, I, top, I, five, top five. I think I haven't went first for a minute now, so I, I'll start this one. Right. Uh, I have the Wolves. Hey, we made top five on everyone's list. I'm happy. I think I'm very, I'm, <laughs> I'm very satisfied. high. I'm very high on them. I think Cat is healthy. I think Cat had a off season of not having to rehab. That's a big difference. Like not not having to like rehab all summer, then get ready for a season. You're not working on shit because you're trying to get that part healthy. I feel like Cat is healthy. I think we all know how we all feel about Ant. Like Ant, Ant is that's the Ant and Cat, and then like this, the the role player is cool, but Ant, Ant is a to me a future top five player in this league. Really sooner rather than later, more people realize he ain't got to be in no big ass market for this. I'm sick of that talk. If you're if you're great, you're great. Because uh, KD wasn't in a big ass market. He was in OKC. You can't get you can't get no more smaller than that when they don't have pro he teams. Move, he got a movie off of that. Come on, man! Terrible movie, but he got making one. a movie. Exactly. In OKC. But he he got he had kids around here wearing OKC jerseys. Okay. And I, I feel thing. like the reason that OKC still has a big fan base is because of those teams. Yes. Those people stuck around. They love yes. that team. Yes. And they stuck around. And that's yes. why they have such a strong fan base right now. Those teams were so so easy to root for. Oh, it was, absolutely. They, they was going against Especially the Lakers if you and the 7th AFC and shit. If you dislike those Bron Heat teams, you oh my God. were attached to the Thunder. Yes. Right. So, uh, there you go. So, I feel like Ant is in that boat. I feel like the Wolves is in that. Coming up. My and there's Twitter enough propaganda. team. I think there's two. I yeah, think there's a lot. Of, I think <laughs> there's a lot of teams that that can take a dip, and I feel like they're on the up rise. And I think five is good. Uh, I think I could have been easier. I could have put them at six, 
But with the with the jaw thing for me, I think it's easy for them for five, and I think that's a good spot. At five, look, you're close to that top four too. You're almost at five. They can still, to me, can still compete for home court. I think they're that they showed hey, enough. Like, like we said, one two games. That's a three game win streak. Yes, I feel like somebody yeah. else, and you get home court advantage. Yes. The goal for any of those teams, I think, is just if you get that five or six seed over the plane, that's so that's so big for so many teams. And so there's like six teams competing for that. Yeah. So it's and like I feel like the Wolves, they've been at the last couple years. I feel like they deserve a year to not have to even worry about that shit. Like we're chilling. We ain't got to worry about that shit. That's my and, pick. Uh, last year, last year's five seed was the Clippers. Oh so. yeah, it was the Clippers. Top five. Damn, they were five. Oh yeah. Cause we got that four or five matchup with I got you. Uh, but yeah, I got Wolves at five. Who y'all got? I'll go ahead. I got the Kings here. Ooh. Um, I think they're a tough one because their offense is so fun. They're coming off a three seed season. Yep. But they had the best luck with injuries out of any team in the league. I think they best only luck. missed like twenty combined games with their starters. They are yeah. always available. Um. And I'm interested to see how the league starts to adjust to them. I, I trust Mike Brown as a coach. I can work around those adjustments. And when you have oh, that yeah. good of an offense. Yeah. And you have that good of a closer in De'Aaron Fox on your team. But I think they just take a, a baby step back. Nothing crazy. I think they've really earned my respect as a team that they, yeah. they are in that. They showed a lot in the playoffs, too. Top six, for sure. Yeah, they showed a I lot think in the playoffs. I think your last... The last sing of the Kings was a good one. Even though they lost to the Warriors, it was still like, oh, shit. Okay. I'm still worried about the defense because it was just such – they were so reliant on their offense. But if they can just make it a little bit better or work in just these a new teeny pieces bit. better. Just some improvement. Like mm. a, It ain't got to be like a, a big-ass leap, you know? Like just some improvement. The, the fact that the Kings are like a stable team that we feel – I mean, all of us have them in the top five here because mm-hmm. you guys haven't said them yet. But yeah, yeah. the fact that we have them as a staple already after a jump year, I feel like a lot of people are often going to say a team's going to drop back. But to still be confident on them is like it shows a lot for a team like the, this. Yeah, well, the last thing I saw with them was good and their coaching staff. Like that says a lot. Coaching, you coaching matters in in basketball. Like that shit matters. <laughs> like Big you time. need that <laughs> like like you need that you know what i'm saying like that shit matters so i i think mike brown got them boys going i think wasn't he like a defensive coach too is, is his main sure. thing offense or defense like i can't style? remember is his main thing defense I wasn't it, it was like his calling card game. but he just got this offensive uh-huh. scheme from kerr but I, I gotta look that up I'll, I'll, yeah, I gotta look that's a that good up. one. I gotta look that up because we're we're on. I would think more offensive minded too. I just I think, think having such stable, there's gonna be no bullshit with that team when no. Sabonis and Fox are your lead dogs. No, like, no, they're just, they just chill and they just want to hoop. Mm-hmm. And you gotta factor with... those things, and I hate to be the uh, throw those weird concepts in there, but these guys are pros. They're gonna get the job done. They show up. Perf- they play nearly every game. When those are your top players, you can feel really good about team. Yeah, they gel uh, together well. Yes, Mike Brown, Colin Carr is defense. You know he came from. Oh, wow. um, uh, I couldn't get it out. Stumbled over my words. He's from um, the Coach Pop tree. Everyone is. You know the Pop. Yeah. At this yeah. Point. He was assistant coach when he won in 02. And then there's people under the pop tree that have their own trees now. Yeah. I thought, yeah, because he was a big defensive dude. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That was the thing that that was shocking me because their defense was so bad. But that's still effort. And you only can. That was just like, they didn't have the personnel. Yeah, you didn't get the personnel. So I feel like, yeah. So, but I'm still, I'm still high on the Kings. Um, Keegan Murray could take a leap and they could be top three for all I know. Yep, yep. So I'm going to piggyback that because I got the Kings as well. Everything he said, I, <laughs> I'm not really going <laughs> to preach the same thing for the next two minutes, but uh, same group of dudes. I think last year was not, not really a fluke season, but they took a nice jump. 
think teams will be scheming for them a little bit better. They yeah. know what they're looking at. They had they some luck on many... their size, but it wasn't like that was the whole reason why they were good. Yeah, like they're good. They're still putting it together. It was just year one for them, really. Yeah. You know, taking that step. So I think there'll be some regression. Keegan Murray should take a, uh, should take a step, but besides that, no major additions to look forward to. It's just them growing together and yeah. seeing how they play. And I'm gonna piggyback off of that and just go into number four because <laughs> that's who I have as my four, the Kings. Literally everything I just said, literally everything they just said. Uh, I just wanted to just jump into that because that was just a perfect. And listen, we did not talk about this with each other, so these. Transitions just naturally happen. Just it makes it easier on our yeah, brains. We did not talk about this. We did not go over what we picked. This is all new to everybody. And for last season was the Phoenix Suns. Uh, I got the Kings at four for everything I just said. I don't even need to go any further, I don't believe, by anything else. So one of y'all can take, take over. It. Go ahead. I'll take it because I had uh, Minnesota Timberwolves at number four. Oh, so we just flip flop, uh, me and you. Yeah, we just flip flop there, right yeah. there. Yeah, and that's uh, easy. Everything you said about yeah, everything you said about Ant, true. Everything you said about Cats, true. Uh, you hope Rudy can, you know, find that Kevin Love fit in role, quote unquote, fit in role. Keep doing his thing, uh, but you'll see Jaden get a full year after his, you know, breakout year. Basically, want to say yeah. But then I like the players that they had on the bench, like Shake. They got uh, Nikhil over there still. Leonard Miller at one point is going to get some minutes and haunt me. I, I didn't even when. go through all that. It might not yes. even be, yo. Mm-hmm. It might not even be this year. But just as he's on the roster, I had to say something because it's going to kill me. Doesn't take much um, to jump Troy Brown in the rotation. No, Troy Brown, just another three and D guy. You just hope he shoots close to forty percent. Uh, and then Nas Reed playing one through five. If you want him off the bench, like whatever, like that dude. Yo, I didn't even mention my man him. Nas. I'm so sorry to you, my man. You too. I'm just telling him. <laughs> like, that team was just fun. That's a that's an automatic league pass watch for me is the Wolves. Just like, like Jonah said, that propaganda, boy, isn't working all over the timeline. Yeah. But yeah. it's true. It's going to be a good team to watch. They're going to take them steps. No, they are. Hopefully. No. We, want, we want them to. No, yeah. Hey, I have them number four as well. That's where I'm sitting. I had them there last year. I mean, I'm always going to be high on my team. I'm always going to get my little yeah, hometown favor. That's what I'm going to be up. on. You better than me off. when it comes to the Bulls. Fuck all that. Well, you got reasons. <laughs> um, yeah, I got yeah, reasons. I'd yeah. be in the same spot if I were you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just looking at this team's downfalls last year, there were so many. They lost to the Pistons twice. They lost to they the did. Hornets. They lost to the Spurs twice. They lost to... Fuck, they lost the to the Spurs Rockets. The Spurs one was crazy. The Jazz took two out of four against them, I believe. Like, there's these bottom level. They would always play down to competition, but when they played a good team, they would show up. And I think it's just like, if you can make some fixes with that, uh, develop in a lot of the same players are back. I've liked, there's only so much you can put into it, but I think the offensive schematics are going to be more smooth Mm -hmm. regarding Cat and Rudy lineups. If you can figure that out, you're cruising. Uh, and, Nas is adapting to playing the four a lot more too, which is that's that's good for you. That's, a big deal because yes, playing is. him next to Cat used to be like crazy, and now it's just a regular <clears> thing, which is wild. Because Nas is ver- Nas is versatile, bro. Like, yeah. I did not know he could really like. I might throw him the ball and run a little pick and roll with him. And He's Rudy. got a crazy. Like, how much weight did he lose? Oh, a that's ton. Hey, <laughs> yo, he dropped mad weight. <laughs> If you look at he you like look the at same headshot, <laughs> if you look at his rookie year headshot, even like you can see it in his face, yes. he dropped a ton of weight. Man, bro, he always had the athleticism, but like that was a reason why he went undrafted. His yeah, you can't you not going years because he was he was a big boy, and then he worked back into shape, and it yeah did one that was for good. Him. No, yeah, I, he, he can move like man, and and, and what's what's crazy is what you just said. I knew about the like the Spurs bad losses. But all nice, those teams bro. you just said, yo, that's like ten. That's like ten wins you could add if you sweep the Rockets. You if sweep they the half Spurs. Those games last yo, that's year, four, they that's been eight six. wins, ain't it? I was gonna say that? that's a six seed. Exactly. Just in wins alone, if you just sweep the you sweep the Hornets, that's another two wins. You sweep these teams, you don't 
Those, that's 10 extra wins easily for you. Just like Zoe said with uh, talking about like our eight and nine matchups and shit. You still got to win those games. You it do. It still matters so much. They I still matter. You season. can't just be, this is not, you know, you get that. You can't just, you know, not say, fuck it. We ain't got to show up. Because it used to be in both conferences, like, you start playing teams in that 8, 9, 10 in April. You don't give a fuck. You're going to beat them without even trying. Now, Jalen Green could not, put up 35 on you last the league year is deep. if you didn't the, play. Right. Him. The league is deep now. Like, regardless of how we want to say it, everybody may not be as smart or ain't got the IQ right now because everybody's super fucking young, but everybody is super fucking talented. A bucket. Hey, watch a bucket. Houston. Yeah, watch Houston just surprise people. Start yes. off 120 consistently. Yes, they might. Bucket, they might give up a, a lot of points, but you have to worry about them. Last them. year, they was giving the Bulls things. buckets. Last year, and they had no direction. That's the thing about <laughs> these teams, too. Like, there's a reason why players stick in the league that can play offense and can't play defense, and there's guys that don't stick in the league that can play defense and can't play offense. It's so much more of a liability. Like. Yep. That's why the league's so offensively focused. Yep. It's you can't throw a guy out like that. So if you got a whole team full of this and your team takes their offense off for a night, it's tough. 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 That's why you gotta be so that's why if all of y'all are off teams, yeah. Gotta be so good on both levels. It's 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 hard. Difficult. You gotta know how to you know, that's why some people just are just better at building a squad. And sometimes you're gonna hit. Sometimes you're gonna even if the good GMs and presidents, (laughs) they're gonna you're gonna miss. Sometimes you're gonna start being, you're gonna wash out like Pat Riley. I'll leave that for next. Sometimes, hey, <laughs> sometimes that ninth guy, he's gotta be solid. Even gotta if he's be. not getting minutes. Gotta so. be. Like sometimes you gotta know, like in a playoff series, we've all seen it. It'd be somebody random that's gonna make three threes in a row, four threes, or your favorite football team, your some random ass linebacker who's starting for the starting linebacker. Gets 15 goddamn tackles in a pick out of nowhere. But that's because that GM just hit on somebody random or they just scouted that damn good. So basketball is the same damn way. And especially all the talent in the league. If yes, it just the happens. Ninth, eighth, ninth, tenth option are it's kind of picking straws with role players. But I think just especially for regular season win totals, it's really big for that. It's really big. Factor. Really big. Especially, you Especially know, with how much we've talked about injury luck with some oh of these teams, God. too, and, and how much it can... I'm, I'm really interested to see how that shit's going to change. If people really going to give a fuck about these rewards, because you like, got to play 65 the, games, so... Yeah, that's we didn't be... see much of the Cat and Rudy stuff last year, but that's because Cat was injured. So, like, yeah. they still had to deal with that. Um, yep. But like you said, Yo, with your Wolf I stuff earlier... I forgot Rudy was on that team. I know. He just... He's that, bro, that's a... They're he's easy there. top five, nah. bro. He's there. I think they're Can't easy top Ruby. five. If they do their thing and they don't have major injuries to Cat or Ant, I think if Rudy got hurt, I think you can I think you can work, work with that. You can work around that shit. But if Cat and Ant are – that's a Cat and Ant. Yeah, Cat and Ant are healthy for majority of the games, they're Carl top Anthony five Edwards. easy for me, man. Top five. Easy. And I, for some reason, Mike Conley is defying odds and still – Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's there, too. Yes, like the shooting honestly, numbers last year were absurd for us. He shot like forty six percent on catching he was hooping. threes. He was hooping. He was hooping. So hey, I'm, I'm, I think uh, one last piece I want to talk about is the the when we had that kind of sneaky year with like Vando and all those guys. Our first kind of the jump before the year before Rudy got traded for the three. We were first oh, when in the they played the Clippers when you had Pat Bev. Pat is that Bev? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. We were first in the year in the league in three point frequency that year, and I think they got to make Cat shoot a ton more threes. I think that change is a big thing. You got to you stretch it out, and you open up they the shot lane. Twenty eight in the first half against the Knicks the other day. So I, I hope saw that you can kind about of. That. I hope they can find some balance with that, and it's going to take some work, but we're hopeful. Let me tell you <laughs> something. Timberwolf Twitter is strong. Um, I have a lot of Timberwolf followers now. And I follow some, I, y'all know what they're talking about. It, it helps to right. not. They do know what they're talking about because it's refreshing. Because when your team's been you asked, you rent, can come to terms with some things. Yeah, and but y'all, y'all, y'all not delusional. Every but every fan base have those yep. few, but that few. But y'all overall, realistic. but overall, y'all don't seem delusional because 
everybody's going to end up having random ass Laker fans on their timeline because it's the Lakers, and they don't know what the fuck they be talking about. Then I got Bulls fans are some of the most delusional fans. I might be biased in that point, but I think some of the most delusional fans. Jonah, you live no, here now. Wrong. You might hear some of the stupid shit they be talking I think about. It's more the optimists, but yes. <laughs> so, but it's refreshing. <laughs> With the it is a unique fans. situation it with the Lonzo injury, but yeah, yeah, it's very unique. But I say, I'll just say, yeah, it's, it's very nice refreshing week. to right. It's very, very refreshing to have <laughs> Timberwolves fans on my timeline talking basketball, knowing what they're talking about. It's refreshing. So I want to shout, shout y'all out. The uh, the fans that have came when we started getting better, or people that are like ant player stands. That's where it gets messy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people that have been watching this team for like five years or so. Yeah, that's where it says stable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got to humble yourself. You got your team's got to be buns for some years to understand. Oh yeah, your team got to be buns, and that's okay if you know that. Why, do you, why are you guys sitting where you're at with the Bulls? It's because it, you've watched this team for. so We don't long. know nothing, right? We don't know. We Not don't a know. Damn thing. If I know I'm going to the season, we're gonna be trash with any team I root for. It's easier. Watching games is easy. Easy. The season's easy, but when you go into a season, you don't know. It's frustrating. So, yeah. And I mean, if we're just a playoff team this year, I'll likely be happy. And listen, yeah, I am. And that's not another year. Another year. They growth. they beat the they beat the, they beat the uh, 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 the Nuggets a game. Let's not forget. Raise they, the banner. Let's go. They they beat Raise the Nuggets the banner. and they play. Listen, I said in all playoffs, the only team the Nuggets didn't look comfortable against was the Timberwolves to me. I feel like everybody else that get, the series, I knew they were going to beat uh, the Timberwolves, but the Timberwolves made that shit hard on the Nuggets. If you go back and watch that shit, that shit wasn't like just like a cakewalk for them. I feel like every other series, I feel like we knew they were going to beat the Suns. We felt like they was going to beat the Lakers. And we definitely knew they was going to beat the damn Heat. That's why another reason I'm high on the Wolves, man. Don't let me down, Wolves. I believe we took th- we took three of four out of the from the Kings last year, and I think we split the Nugget series. So it's like, saying? they play good against good teams. It's yes. just like don't play it's ass a, against the ass teams. Yeah, that's the a lot that's of that learning curve. Yeah, they're gonna, I think they're going to improve on that big time. I really do think so. So uh, we talked a long time on the Wolves. The Wolf fans, send us some merch. I'm sure we'll talk a lot on the Bulls next week. <laughs> yeah, we are. Oh, oh, we I'm hopping up on my soapbox next week. Oh, Naturally, yes. It's get ready. Happen. I got, oh, my God. Get ready. Um, We're going to move on to number three. Last, last year. year uh, last year was the Suns, by the way, for four. Oh, yeah. I didn't say that. Last year was the Suns. Uh, and last year number three. was the Kings. Uh, I go. I will go, go with the Lakers. My man. I think the Lakers, hey, I sat on this. This was so hard for me because I'm like, is this Bron bias? Is this what is happening yes. right now? <laughs> and I was like, some of it might be, but I do, I'm like, man, listen, it's Bron. Last year with so many injuries, they were still seven You're kicking yourself if you put them lower than what you think. Oh, absolutely. Just oh, like I was always feeling with the Grizzlies. Yeah, I can. And <laughs> I could not, I couldn't put them second or first. Um, I just couldn't. But I think if they made it to second, I wouldn't be surprised. But I think third, we have a feeling we our first and second are kind of on locks for yeah, everyone. Yeah, but but mm. but but them being third, I feel like I like the additions. I do have to see some things. Um, we hear this shit every year from Brian about AD. It's your turn. I think. I think I think Bron is serious. John ain't here for. It. Yeah, you I just think gotta Bron... see him play some hoops. You no, yeah, I think I think Bron is really serious about that shit. I think he really is ready for this shit. But, fam, AD should be the number one on the team. This is like, your clearly. this one hundred percent. I be think the this one. is the defining year for Anthony Davis. If this it ain't this, be. if this ain't the season, just stop. Stop. Nah, he got the re up. He's there regardless. No, bro. but what I'm saying is about being a guy. It's uh, time to, you know what I'm saying? Like, he could just be, he could just be a really good number two. Yeah, like, bro, if you can't do it this year, I don't know. I, I really don't know what. I, d- I just don't know. So, 
I'm hoping high. The, the, them being third for me is a lot to do with Brown for sure because he's Brian. Brian, yes, he's had that injury last year, but Brian really has to show me that he is not Brian no more for me not to have him in a top three. <laughs> That's it. He Honestly, has to show yep. me. He has to show me he can't do twenty-seven, seven and seven no more again. And I'm, I'm still, high, I'm like I say, I'm high off what I just saw, how they ended the playoffs. They lost to Denver. They're the champions. They lost to Denver. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm in as a Wolves fan. Like. <laughs> you know, like they beat, they they lost to the champs. But I think. Like like Jonah said, I would have been kicking myself in the ass if I didn't pick them three and they finished top three. I lost my bragging rights right there. So I had to do yeah. it. And it's Brian. Everybody know Brian, everybody yeah. know how I feel about Brian. Everybody knows that it ain't no secret. So until he ain't doing when until Brian had to be averaging less than twenty five for me to be like, oh shit. I don't know. He's still a walking Honestly, though. He's still a walking damn near thirty, eight and eight every every game. Till this day. So, till it doesn't happen. And these role players, they had to take a step, a huge step back for me. For me, like, oh, shit, these, these guys are bad. So, number three. I'm interested to see how Rui does this year. Yes, me too. Because his playoffs were for sure better than his regular season it was. last year. And so, like, did they figure out player, something? Yeah. Like the Wizards situation, can you judge much off yeah, that? Yeah, I don't yeah. really think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, Not what, those years. Let's get nah. the kid a fresh start. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got to make three. He was a talented kid. I, 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 Gonzaga. I, I do think, I don't think either one of you are surprised that I got them in the top three, but there we nah, go. I got them three too. I I'm wish. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got anything else you want to add? Are hey. smooth today, yes, man. they are. Look at us. We are podding today or tonight <laughs> on October 16th. Tonight. We are tonight. podding. Tonight. This is yeah. how you pod. This is how you pod. Go ahead. Uh yeah, the Lakers. Everything you said about AD, it should be his team. Like should be like we've, been, we've been saying it every year, but fucking please take over because please you like would like to get a you? nice little. You would like to get Ron semi rested, healthy, yeah, yeah, all the way to the playoffs. If he can take some of that load off during yep. the season, I'm with you. LeBron can still get his twenty seven, seven and seven. Yep. But if AD is gonna take that step, I see his numbers dropping a little bit. Yeah. Also. That Lakers roster, I think they're actually really deep. Um, D'Lo came back. Reeves came back. AD got the extension. Uh, Rui came back. Yep. It feels it's forever ago since AD even got his extension. Right? Like, uh, Vandy season. got his, his extension. Long. You bring in Gabe Vincent. You bring in Torian Prince. Like, these guys are just solid players, too. Give Darvin Ham a full year. I know y'all were y'all were super low bro, on him last year. Bro, he was awful he though. You need to be critical during the playoffs. But man, bro, like, he was awful all season. He was so bad. I didn't bad. think he was awful. I thought he was all right, and we just needed to see. And I'm still playing the wait and see game. He did, it's a he full got, year for he him. Got, no, no, yeah, he got better in the playoffs. So I'm gonna let him go. Let him... My uh, scorching hot question this changes everything. What's your current Cam Reddish stock holdings though? Honestly, you hope that he can get in and get some tick, but from what I'm seeing, him, Jackson Hayes, Christian Wood, it's those three. You just hope to get something. Christian get Wood. Something out of Lonnie, them. Walker, hey. Lonnie Walker of last year type B. Hey, you Listen. Know, you get something from him, you roll with it. Christian Wood, last night, I don't even know how the fuck it happened, got on Giannis. No. You see, that Giannis man, dunked on him and tagged him on Instagram. That man don't know how to play an ounce of defense. He not moving the puppies. I saw a play you know? where, yes, this is Damian Lillard. This is a high ball screen. A good defender is going to have a difficult time with this, but this man had no chance. Zero, bro. He had no chance. Zero. And that's I don't and know that's how this shit going to work. We know he's not there for his defense, but like I said, you give me something, you give me eight points and two rebounds off the bench. Like, because he can't play in what, 12, play, in 12 minutes? He can't play in high pressure. Maybe six moments, points, bro. two rebounds. Nah, you can't play him, but because he it's can't. a body out there. 
somebody who might play five next to AD at some point he when is tall. AD I was, doesn't want to play five. Yep. Same with Jackson Hayes. He can play the five when AD doesn't want to play five. And I was hope Cam Reddish can grow. But Max Christie is playing too damn well for him to. Yep. Yeah. Give him Max Christie, Christie shout. I was going yep. to definitely ask y'all. I'm waiting to the now. Um, thinking about uh, Christian Wood. I couldn't think of a big, a big tall player that who improved so much with the pick and roll that they was able to be in high pressure moments in the middle of the season. Like, of course, people can improve over a course of a couple of years, but I can't think of a big who was just so bad at a point right now. But then by the time the playoffs got here, they were better. I can't think of That's nobody. A jump than not. I feel like if we actually three that three like seed, I got the guards. Then damn, where the fuck I put the Grizz? I forgot now. Where the hell I where the hell I put them? And I'm clearly higher than everyone else. Yes, I had we Grizzlies have... at six. You got at six, six, I believe. Six. Yeah. yeah, six, six. Those six. got them at eleven. I got them. They're, yep. in, they're in the abyss outside. <laughs> they're hanging out. Um, Good. I really so liked what I saw. Period. Hey, I'm not a big Grizzlies fan. I'm like I've been a Grizzlies hater. They beat, oh, yeah. they beat us in the playoffs. That instantly gave me some animosity. It gave me some reason. But and that's I think, fun, though, for sports. That's fun. Yeah. To hate those, on teams. Those little mini, those games that no can be a little more intense. You have no rationale season. of why yeah. you hate that team. That's just sports. <laughs> Zoe has no reason why he hates the Grizzlies. I, they just got some players I don't like. Who are you scared to shit out of me? That's a reason. Um, <laughs> now everybody on edge. Yeah. You're right. At What's up, girl? Hollering. Um, I like what I saw with Jaron in the playoffs with some like more scoring. His three I'll still make fun of his three point jumper always. Mm-hmm. It looks funny. Yeah. But he was genuinely like taking some guys off the dribble towards the end of the year. And I like the Marcus Smart in, Dylan Brooks out. I feel like that's a that's a step forward. It's like the same kind of deal, just a shorter version and better on defense. You're still gonna get the bad shot selection there. Bad. No but you get a little the antics are there, but they're on the floor, and they're yeah. uh, okay. in good yeah. reason. They're in good mm-hmm. reason on the floor. Um, they're in good taste, mm-hmm. but I think Mark. I I think just having like an adult there. Marcus Smart's a wild boy, but he's gonna put your ass in your he's place. A grown up. He's they a need grown an up. adult. Um, and I think just some injury luck got bad to him last year too. Like Stephen Adams was out for that long while and he didn't play in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Desmond Bain had some weird foot injury. And I think while he's a weird player to rank because his pure shooting, I give him a big edge and he can create off the dribble, but he's not going to be, he's in between that like strong, incr- way too good to be a three, but you yeah. don't know if you want him to be your number two on like a, yeah, championship team it's it's tough with him but i think he'll be stable enough in those first couple games but yeah i can totally see the reasoning you guys have with the job being out because his importance is crazy but i'm glad they at least have marcus smart there to hop i in was not expecting you to have them at three <sighs> the more i, I looked at these had, teams i thought you had already said them too but hey the more i looked at these teams i feel like they kind of fall in the king's gap with me. I feel like they're reliable. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to be stable. They're going to have their hiccups here and there, but I feel like you know they're like going to be a tough team to go up against when you face yeah. them. Uh, and yeah, with the, th- I think mostly I, I'm really big on their kind of core guys, and it's just relying on their weird devil magic with role players because they'll yeah. just kind of find guys and throw them out there and. Like Santi Aldama was not on anyone's Sant- he was no, not yo. on anyone's first round mocks, nah. nothing. <laughs> no. They drafted him and yeah. in two years he's like a little role player for them. So yeah. like things like that. They get that shit just... done over there. I will say they get shit done over there. They do develop I, you can see them developing over there. They just do like nah, smart, is that, is smart that your Williams gonna get some burn at some point? He has looked better. He's had He's had injuries and, you know, inconsistencies, uh, yeah. Just, but preseason I've liked him at least being out there and showing me something. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's just going to be reliant on, like, damn, how 
how is this team with these guys off the bench like playing yeah. as well? And you're going to be like, it, it won't make any sense to you when you look at the roster, but I feel like they just play good basketball. And Taylor Jenkins is a great coach. He is a good coach. And and my question to you is, so you think they can last, withstand the 25 games and a possibly him like missing a game here and there? The only reason I feel high on that is because I think – if Bain shows us those highs that he showed last year and the year prior, and if Jaron takes a little bit more of a like scoring leap, mm-hmm. I think they can hold on enough mm-hmm. to where when Ja gets back and you can, it's like a very good, it might, it might be kind of a blessing in disguise where these guys, you can really see what they're yeah. made of. Yeah. They can especially see. with Bain getting his extension and getting a lot of money. It's, yeah. it puts more pressure on these guys, but they can easily just go on those big, big runs, and I feel like they have a lot of control to their, yeah, their play. I would, but I do the feel that is going to be. I disagree. I do feel. It's, I do feel. <laughs> I do feel. I do hear what you're saying, but I do feel. I do think Ja, with the suspension included, I think he's going to miss like 35 games. He very much could, and that's the thing that scares me. I think that's the thing that's scary because, like I said earlier, his play and then already 25 games, you know what I'm saying? But it is, it could be, it's a gift and a curse when you're, when something like this, and it's still kind of deep and they still, you know, you got, you know, people who can hold down the fort with smart and, and Rose. Is Rose in like the rotation? I know he was playing in preseason, but I don't think he's in, the, he's not, he not going to be in the rotation, right? When they, is he going to be a garbage have- player? No, you have to assume that is this guy starting now with Ja out that he'll get some some minutes at some point. I still, think he's like a ten to fifteen minutes of run kind of guy off yeah. the bench. Who's, for the, when who's gonna be out. the Who's gonna be the point when he's out? Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart. Yeah. Though. All right. And then D Rose. I think D Rose will be in there for sure. And maybe once Ja comes back, he could get kicked to the side. Mm-hmm. Um, but it should be interesting. And one it last is. thing with Ja is he's played throughout his career he played 67 games his rookie year then 63 57 61 so scary scary times let's say even if he does have a full year of health um it's going to be pretty pretty close to what he's already done but yet again you're asking for health from him and that could be really tricky too so that's very true let's say you get 80 percent of the 47 games that he's available yeah you're still getting half a season of them out of yeah. that. Yeah. That That's the thing. Like, we can't say, people. all we can say is we hope because we have no track record. If you look back, there's never, <laughs> there's never, it's not like, man, he played all the time. So he might just miss these 25 games. No. It's a unique situation, too. Like, when mm-hmm. have we seen a player of this stature? We've seen injuries this start year, but I feel like suspension is such a different level. We've just never seen no shit like this before. At and if all. It has, yeah. It's been like, I think of like Malice in the Palace shit, but. One, those were like whole seasons because it was like the start of the season. Mm-hmm. And two, I wasn't immersed within the season to see how it came back and stuff like that. And, and I mean, mm-hmm. Jaws better than I think any of the players that were Involved suspended in that, in that game yeah. at the time. So, and that shit was so big to multiple players to the point like Indiana still ain't recovered from that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like they were supposed to, they were the favorites that year, bro. Like. They were supposed to win. I don't want to get off in no tenor, but they were supposed to nah. at least make the finals that season. And then that shit went down the wayside on a Friday night. Random ass Friday Ron, night. <laughs> Ron Ron's biggest, uh, biggest oh, regret. Hey, was it? I did tweak, though. I thought uh, D Rose was getting a start in preseason, so I tweaked. But Marcus Smart is going to get that. But what color is his hair now? He changed it to dark blue. It's is dark it dark blue? Oh shit! I didn't okay. believe. I think it had to do something with his mom. Yeah, oh, in damn, Boston. I'm, yeah, so I get it. I think I his mom. I don't know. It's something to do with him expressing himself for his mom or something like that. That's why he did the green hair. So I think he's yeah. just doing it in. I mean, I, that's the first thing I thought of when the trade went down because I think a stupid shit like that. I'm yeah, like, see exactly. Just color of his hair because that's mm-hmm. what you see when you see that was mom. No, yeah, for real. You see some bright ass green box braids. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Uh, are we on? Are, are we on three or two? two? We on three. So two. three. Uh, you had the. Wait a minute. I had the Grizzlies. You had the Grizzlies. So you had the Lakers. I had the Lakers. Now we're on to the uh, recap. Three seed last year was the Kings. 
Um, we're going to move on to number two. That did two. Two. They were the Grizzlies last season. And we so, all have the same two teams here. So it's just yes, a matter uh, of order. Yes, I have the Suns at number two. Um, it's the Suns. Uh, only reason I don't have number one is because the last few seasons, KD doesn't finish. Shit, hold on. I got him up. Last time KD played 70 plus was his last year with Golden State. He played 78. Then he missed the whole year because of the Achilles. Then it was 35, 55, 47. Oh, 47 last year combined with uh, Brooklyn and Phoenix. 47. So that's the one thing that's scary. Um, Bradley Bill is another person. He hasn't played 82 games since uh, 18, 19 season. Uh, 57, 60, 40, 50 the last few years. And I do understand with Bradley Bill. I know some players sometimes, if you're on a bad team and you're already getting your money and you get a hurt, one of them like hamstring injuries, you can fuck around with that. You don't want to come back. They can't tell. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just a strain. But I feel like the only reason I got them second, because they're going to they're gonna miss a couple games, I feel, Bill and KD. But all, them dudes are just walking buckets. And... <laughs> You're going to win a lot of games. They're going to win a lot of games, bro. Team. Like, you are kidding yourself. In the regular season, you think these dudes ain't going to win games. We saw that shit last year. season concern, yeah. you can have a lot of conversation. Yeah, postseason is different. When From these three guys the game, are on your team, you're going to win a lot bro. of games. It's they're going to be busting teams. Right, you're right. right they're going to be busting people's <laughs> ass just because. Like, I feel like I get it. They're going to they're gonna figure it out. Because one thing about KD, say what you want to say. He don't need the ball that much. He'll shoot that motherfucker 10 times and score 35. And you don't understand how he did it. So it's like, that, I think that for me, this is an easy two seed. It's an easy two seed. That's what say I got you want to say about Booker? That's what I got Booker, too. Yeah. He, all three of us, we're all, we're all, there we go. Booker can score. KD can score. Do you add Bill? He can score, bro. And then they did some things with their role players. I didn't think they were going to be able to do anything like this. They got away from Aiden. They not, that had to be done. I feel like he was part of the locker room. What the situation room. was, they did good. Yes. Yeah. He might have been the kids major... for the locker room. A new coach, a new voice. So major I'm upgrade not, not... to the to yeah. that bench just to have yeah, yeah. bodies who are yeah, capable. Yeah. That's it. I'm not saying serviceable players. They're all like they in the of... same range. It's yeah. just a matter of who <laughs> they favor more yes. and who they yep. like to plug in. Absolutely. Yep. I'm like not said, worried I'm... about the regular season with no. the Suns whatsoever. No. Whatsoever. Their whole regular season should be figuring out what's your best. I don't even know if it's best players out of those. You might have one guy who's better than another. Like who's gonna fit around your most important players the best? I think it's really Steven gonna be fit. like yeah. yep. who and figuring who out comes that process. Off... Who comes off and is running that second team and getting their looks with those guys? Who and, is and staggered with KD between yep. Beal and Booker? That's going to be your biggest thing, like point guard. Said. Yeah, who's running point guard, you know, when they're on the court, when they're off the court? Yep. Frank's going to figure that out. He is. I'm, He's a good enough coach him. for that. Frank should never have been fired from the Lakers, but we know why that happened. It has to be a scapegoat regardless, but he should never have lost that job. It's hard to hold a coaching job in the NBA right now. Especially Real if you're in the Lakers, if you're coaching the damn Lakers, especially them. But, I saw a graphic of coaching tenures, and I think maybe over half of the coaches haven't been there for two years currently in the NBA. It's crazy. Remember, it's that, it was like it's that microwave last, generation we in, man. Yeah. Everybody needs shit right years, now. You make like the conference finals, you ain't getting it done. Like, there's a lot of coaches who don't make that cut anymore. Yeah. Surprising you, how Doc Rivers chip, made like this Bud, long. Yeah. Bud's gone already. He won a chip. He would have been in the hot but we all know, but we all, all know, know him winning that chip then give him a few more years. I gave him two more years at least. And here we are. Um, Another thing people forget about the Suns, Katie got traded there last year. So they basically only trying to get one more superstar included. Booker and KD got some games under their belt and playoff situations. So it's like, it's not like KD and Bill are coming there in the off season and they got to figure out for all three of them. And I, like I said, KD is easy. I think that's the easiest superstar to join with because 
and they he looked smooth, the and they only had half a season. And yes, like you said he missed games too. Like they didn't get a big sample. The man size. twisted his ankle in warmups. Like he had the first home game of the se- for his first home game. I forgot for the about Suns. that. So it was like he got hurt right away. But, right but when he was on the court, he slipped over. Bro, he was still averaging. Bro, he was still averaging like easy twenty seven points. He played like twenty minutes, bro. Like KD is just like dynamic. It's easy. So I think the Suns being two is just easy. Easy. And if I'm excited have anything... for uh Bobo. Ball Ball. Let's see oh, God. how much how much time he gets. Uh it's gonna be exciting. When he gets those uh end those up twenty you're up twenty with three minutes left, he's gonna be hooping. <laughs> yes. the crowd's gonna minutes. go crazy. Hey, put him in down six. Let's see. I'm ready hey, for Bobo to running the zone. You better be running the bro. zone. <laughs> yes. They'll be they'll be they'll be bringing Bobo's man over and putting the screen on Yes. The ball every play. Hey, every play. Bow ball, most improved player. Watch out. Oh I'll my take. god. Hey, at least oh you weren't god. like Kendrick Perkins saying he could be defensive player of the year. Yeah, Kendrick nah, Perkins doesn't be uh, saying anything. <laughs> exactly. He's starting to be bad, bro. My question like for one you of the guys few. Go ahead. is what still keeps Denver over the Suns? Because we're all on the same page here, but I feel yeah. like we all might have different reasoning here. Continuity. Same team they, basically, and they you play lose games. Bruce Brown, but and they Christian and they play. Gonna, they gonna step right in. It's a nice system they got over there. We saw last year for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's just a you know they're a good solid and, team, and everybody's coming back. And it's not it's not a re- and it's not a rehab year for Jamal Murray. He didn't have to rehab an ACL. I think hey. they're gonna be just fine. Their players the play. Ain't the champs no more. Yeah, and their players play. You don't ever hear about if somebody sitting down, they're hurt for real. Like they really are. You know what I'm saying? Like I get like Michael Porter. You got if he say his back is hurting, sit his ass down. To sit him down for a couple games because we Ice already bad. know how we already know what he went through with this back shit. So it's like the you shit that's funny about him. Jokic is like let's say MPJ goes down a game, he just like. Flips off one switch, flips on the scoring switch, yeah. and just goes yep. and gets buckets. He'll come back. And he'll be like, "Okay, I'm just gonna pass this game, and I'll be yes. just as effective." Like, it's it's just bullshit that a player can do that like yeah. efficiently and be <laughs> like, bullshit. "Efficiently, it is." This is that's let me talent. Just do this it. tonight. And let me you just address it. Uh, address all oh, these stupid ass people. It's unbearable to play against. Oh, it is very unbearable. Oh my god, you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. With somebody like this that, man bro. had twelve assists on us. He only put out twelve points. What are we gonna do? Like, figure it out. It's a playoffs. <laughs> that shit and is. Uh, to all the goofies on Twitter, listen. Stop trying. Everybody doesn't have to be a psycho like Kobe was to to enjoy the game. Let Yo- that's how, that's Jokic being. That's his what personality. Do he don't give. A, he don't have to None be. None of us know. We got to remember in like the social media era, we don't know these people. We see no. interviews. None of us know these guys. Like, no. I didn't know about guys like I do now. He could completely be a different person outside of their job <laughs> yeah, like, and their social media and their interviews. Like, you just want to go home to them horses. Like, to let yeah, like, you go a fuck about. He you show like, up man. to the office. Like, his, like your nine to five. You go home, clock out. I, yeah, I that's it. Work. He ain't got to be no fucking. Everybody think. I think I always use Kobe. Yeah. Everybody always use the uh, always use the Kobe meme against the Bulls. Anytime <laughs> LeBron don't do something or don't shoot the ball, everybody want. So you want this man, and people fail to realize Kobe missed that shot. Kobe didn't make that shot. Y'all know it's what I'm really talking nice about. It's a really nice picture. It is when he gets a nice all, picture. Everybody guarding him, but he missed. So I, I feel like another reason of like how that's interjected is look at. How much love Jimmy Butler gets because like he woke up at like three a.m. to work oh out God. and stuff. It's like it's a lot of the same kind of Kobe. I mean, not Kobe. Jimmy Butler has to. Let's be honest. Jimmy Butler has to do that because people love him nah, because he that's, wo- next, that's next week. Okay, yeah, we. I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I wait. Yeah, yeah. I like that. We ain't gonna talk about it now. We will keep talking about the the, uh, the Jazz, but I think the uh, Jazz. I, I mean, not the Jazz. <laughs> the fucking nuggets. The nuggets. The Jazz ain't nowhere near this goddamn list, but the Nuggets. They're, they're in the um, list. 
Yeah, the, the Nuggets are number one, and they're gonna be a chance to somebody beat them, of course. Could they go back hey. to back? Well, I'm not gonna. Back, I'm not gonna do what everybody else is, said. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Tough. It is tough, but I'm not gonna be where everybody is saying like it's automatically gonna be you know Bucks, Suns, or Suns, uh, Celtics. I'm not gonna... at the top. You're gonna be seen as a disappointment if you don't yeah. win again. So yeah, good yeah, luck. Yeah. Good luck, Denver. Yeah, I understand what it's going to be. They're going to win the regular season. It's games, still a trip so. now. They won. It's still weird. Hey, it's weird. That's team start to finish. It's not it weird. Was. Oh, yeah. When did that? It doesn't happen all the time. I mean, I guess it does in basketball. I think it's just because they're like stable. Yeah. It feels yeah. a little different when there's some more storylines with teams and it feels like there's more weight to it. Yeah. When a team just like keeps winning, you're like, yeah, it was really definitely, good. yeah, like, like last the, year, I think all of us, I think all of us said it. It wasn't like we we trusted Jokic. We didn't trust nobody else. It was like we had to see where everybody else was going to do around them, and they showed us. They like showed the reason, us like the Bucks big win statement. felt big was because there was all the Giannis leaving noise and stuff yeah. like that. Like there was some yeah. storylines going on. Like yeah. the Lakers year was Bron's first win in LA. Yeah. It was the bubble, so that got yeah. all the noise. Like. That the shit was added just... context makes things a lot different. Where they just like they just won a lot of basketball games, and everybody and really was down. It was like it was like everybody was like waiting for that, but like oh, they're going to Nuggets. We never got that. We didn't get that wanna... shit in the, in the regular season. We didn't get that shit in the playoffs. It was like they lost. They just lost. And it if wasn't you like make all... like an excuse of like oh they had like a cupcake schedule. You could make that. You could. You could nitpick every single championship year every single and find one. a reason. Everybody. And if you want to, if you want to sit there and compare one nitpick to another, like you can have that discussion. But and let's be somebody honest, won, gotta... hey, somebody won the last game of the year. It was only one person. <laughs> exactly. Hey, and let's be honest, they didn't have like some easy ass road either. Now the finals, okay, you want to give them that, but guess what? Sometimes you just might play. A team that's willing to run in, in the finals, you bro. You might just play the Philadelphia 76ers. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just happens that way. You That was just happens. They play, you might, you could say, well, the Suns wasn't, listen, I bet your ass was picking the Suns before they beat them. So, and it was. It was hella and people. The Suns had a lot of hype coming into the league. Yeah, hella people like... the Suns to beat them. And they just ran through teams, bro. Like, with no problem. My, like, uh, my random Nuggets shout my man Julian Strother has been hooping this preseason. I so, have not noticed. He is. God I saw damn. firsthand. Man, he was off he was going crazy against the Bulls I didn't last watch night. It. I think he's. I didn't watch it. Fuck. Let me find the tweet. Um, he's a guy that I really liked watching draft stuff because he has a crazy floater, and I just like guys with floaters. But floaters are. I love a floater. He's averaging and twenty people points don't per use game. It enough. Go ahead. Twenty God. points per game this preseason. And he was a late first round pick, like an older guy, shooter. I just see him as a guy who's going to like buy into the role. And I feel like the Nuggets are do a really good job of picking out those players that can play their role. Mm-hmm. Um, and I believe they trade into the back of the, the start of the second and then moved up for first. Like they were crafty with their moves yeah. because they knew Bruce Brown was going to get a bag. Hey, taking advantage of that championship window. And that's when you, a nice pickup. That's a smart Every championship GM. team is going to lose an important player. Every that's single how one. it happens. That's every single one. A couple sometimes. Mm-hmm. A couple of them. If you're not careful, it's like, hey, we're going to lose them. So, Like the Heat made their run, and they mm-hmm. still lost. They lost Gabe Vincent. Like, even if you make it, you're still going to lose some pieces. Like, And they were just... Well, they were just really the Nuggets dumb have this, a chance this to, summer. <laughs> They have a chance to like prove themselves to be more of a. I the word dynasty is stupid. I was about to say it's, it's tough to say dynasty, but I feel like dynasty you have to win multiple chips. Yeah, perennial, perennial contenders. Threats. I yeah. like mm-hmm. that. Like if yeah. you want to choose to, like to be a con- serious perennial threat, they have a really big chance to prove that this year, and I think it's a safe. They're not going to be a cakewalk. Yeah. They're not going to be a cakewalk. No, depending on uh, nobody has really salaries, an answer for Jokic. Yeah, depending on what the salaries the look like, they got some of these young guys going to be booked up for years. That's a nice thing to have. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing signing Reggie Jackson for ten mil, <laughs> but that's not my money. But guess what? But, as as we've learned, the salary cap is so much different to the point ten million 
is probably like five. I think it's, 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 it's two over five. It's two oh, over damn. Two. So it's, it's even less than... It's even less than replacement money I'm still, now. Yeah, I'm still questioning it. <laughs> I'm thinking it was like 10 per year. It was like 10 that was per my oh, right knock. I thought they could have done a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, he is a that is minimum a, dude. No, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's, a, that's a crazy yeah. amount. That's crazy for him. They should have took that money, got a different replacement for Jeff Green, but this Strother kid is, is decent. They want to plug him in, see how he progresses with them. We'll see. He's playing well right now. They got uh, Peyton Watson, who was a first-round pick last year, who was like a like a tools guy, like, oh, he has really good size and athleticism, mm-hmm. but he needs to learn how to play basketball better. Like, he didn't. He had a weird year at UCLA, but another one of those guys that you try to they try to want to mold. It, it reminds me of the Grizzlies in some way with their role players, mm-hmm. um, where you can just kind of pick some random shit and make the guy fit your team and accept mm-hmm. his role, and that could be tough. But it they're doing be. a good job at it. No, yeah, they they got a system, they, uh, and and Michael Malone's a good coach, so. He could have them boys um, going. They already know people are probably not going to really try to believe in him again. So I think I have a chip on their shoulder still to prove yeah. like last year wasn't a fluke. And them dudes healthy, they're going to have a first seed easily, I believe. And like what we said with the Suns, if you have playoff <laughs> concerns with them or question marks, so be it. But they're going to mm-hmm. win a lot of games in the regular season. Same. A lot of games. Mm-hmm. It's going to be really easy for them. Like we said, Jokic is going to take a night off and still fuck y'all up somehow. It's gonna still, happen. still fuck y'all up, bro. So Just I don't know. Does, is and... he, Jokic is a pretty. He usually pretty healthy, right? Yeah. Let's see. I want to uh, say so. I mean, he's a low impact type of player with kind of injuries. Yeah. But his whole career, <laughs> so from rookie year to now, so it was 80, 73, 75, 80, 73, 72, 74. He's gonna he play. Sixty nine last year. He's gonna play. He's gonna play. He's not jumping around. No. Nah. Like you said, low imp- <laughs> Zach Zach Randolph type bill. You're not jumping you're not, it's a not good jumping over play. a piece of paper. You're just gonna get give people buckets. Just enough. <laughs> just enough to grab the board. Hey, I'm I'm out. Zach just Randolph enough. was spraying threes and was a generational passer. <laughs> it was just Zebo. Zebo. Shout out Zebo. Man, uh Man, this was this this was a fun episode. I can't wait to do the East. I think the East is gonna be a little bit easier. But this was fun. We Any know the serious teams in the list? East, but I'm still shocked, though. You left who'd you leave who'd you leave off? Who'd you... Memphis. Yeah, you left off Memphis. I left off the Mavs. I don't think Joe left off I anybody. I left off the Mavs. I left off the Mavs. You did? Okay. So I was in between them and the Pelicans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, so you're shocked me. I don't see. Kyrie, Any, uh, Kyrie and Luca doesn't come on. I hope man, not. Kyrie got to play a lot of games shit. for me because listen, if Kyrie or Luca miss significant games for them, pack it up. I mean, pack you still got to even see it with them on the floor. You're right? They, they played 500 ball we with can, them on the we floor say, last year. We could say that for everybody. If everybody no, gets no. hurt, then everybody. But way that, that, but, but the way <laughs> that they were team both is on the built, floor last year. They yeah, were like the way that's slightly yeah. over 500, I believe. And yeah. plus, they didn't have Grant Williams. All right, y'all, it's been nice. This has been a good <laughs> oh, episode. Oh Grant God. Williams. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Do y'all have any last remarks before we get off of here? Any like words anything? about the bottom four teams we didn't talk about? None. Uh, Houston will still be exciting. We'll still watch when I can. I think all those teams are still exciting to watch. No, I don't want to this? watch. I don't want to watch Utah. I do have Straight a question up. for y'all. Utah was fun last year, pre-trade. <laughs> they were. Will the Spurs win 30-plus games? They won 22 last year. Um, they win 30 games 30 is a very good ballpark a- mark for them to aim for. Yeah, it still gets you bottom enough that you'll be getting a good draft pick. It's still an improvement. With Wemby, you know, Wemby's going to get you maybe a win or two and then some growth. And get you a Is he worth extra. eight wins? I don't think he's worth eight wins. That's a lot. I think when you combine him rookie? and Vassell only playing like 30 games last year. Oh, okay. Um, I wasn't watching Spurs basketball. <laughs> I mean, they let him. they let him rehab for a long time. And they were yeah. coming back in slow. They were Smart. not rushing we'll, him. Because what's the point of rushing him? <laughs> exactly. They know, hey, they, know, paid off. they know what we get. They knew what it was getting for this season. They knew they was getting this man. Come on. I think for 
things to go right for any of these teams, it would be like a team very much falls out or gets some terrible luck or um, it'd be like an outlier for one of these mm-hmm. teams to take that leap. Yeah, it would. Yeah, we haven't heard the next round of will they, won't they get traded players who, you know, contract yeah, trade, situations or trade whatever. Trade can shift things so much too. Ooh, oh my God, yeah. so fast. So fast. We could have some drama with any of these teams and their whole team could be gutted by midseason. Yeah, so, yeah, so we facts. don't know. We don't know. We do. That's the fun I think it's it. more shit going watch, on the East, but... I was about to say, watch the Knicks just make some crazy move for some... Just watch. <laughs> I got their pick next week. Next week. Yes, yep. I got because I got some shit about the Knicks too. A uh, couple of things fucking up out of here. Uh, sorry about last week YouTube video. Still don't know why the hell that shit never uploaded. But I if y'all have still want it, public on our video. It's I guess. all good. If y'all still want it, I would still try to upload that. If y'all still want that. <laughs> um, once again, follow us on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. Yeah, we Instagram. On Instagram. Okay, Instagram. <laughs> At Uncommon Commentators Podcast. Is it the whole thing or just pod? You just look up anything just related pod. to that. You'll find us. Yeah, you'll find We're us. We're there. Follow us there. And One of a kind. I'm going to put all this stuff going to be in the description as like always, but I always want to remind y'all for doing that. And uh, like and follow us and subscribe on the YouTube. Please. We will, we will love that. <laughs> five stars five stars on spotify and apple all the places y'all want to be but this bad, has been bad, a long we've, well, we've been talking for two hours but this is fun this is this is one of my favorite times of the year like i said at the beginning this is one of my favorite times we just wasted two hours of our time but i had a good time doing it yeah i had a great time doing this <laughs> all um but hey you yeah, bullshit for for straight for, for me straight for, for right for jonah for zoe we will see y'all next week at the same time. Peace. Peace.